important. <laughs> OBS is now uh, recording. So, yesterday was uh, a day of highs and lows. We, in our second attempt at this uh, RimWorld modded storyteller Winston Waves run, we actually made it to wave 24, our longest so far. And then we got pretty unlucky. But we learned of a new modifier that we... Um, we learned of a new modifier that screwed us over, but now we know what to expect next time we see it. And then run number three, we got really, uh, really screwed and run number three ended very early. So we're on to run number four. I actually played Auction Not Included for a long time during early access. I, in, I in fact, streamed a run of Auction Not Included where we went almost to a thousand cycles, um, but I kind of burned myself out on it. So I haven't gone back. The game's a lot different now. It has a expansion and stuff, but it's been a long time. All right, so we are going to start run number four. If you don't know about Winston Waves, uh, Exclamation WW will tell you more about it, or you can go back to the first VOD. If you are coming to this VOD later on, or you're on YouTube and you found this before the other ones, uh, this is episode number three. So if you are on YouTube, the link to like the whole playlist will be in the description, stuff like that. You can go back to the first one. And in the beginning of the first one, I go over everything that Winston Waves is. And so I don't want to repeat it every single one of these, but uh, there's the, the text version in the chat. And you can always go back to the first VOD, which was uh, two streams before this one. Or if you're watching later on, like YouTube, like I said, go to episode one. All right. So we have learned quite a few things and we have experimented quite a bit. And there's going to be a lot of RNG with this. However, I have decided that we are going to go with tribal. We did try out some other stuff, but... They're the two most important things aside from RNG. So let's just get, put it this way. The three most important things of this Winston Waves challenge is bodies. It's going to be bodies. We need just people. And Crash, I mean, uh, Lost Tribe starts with the most people. Second is going to be, uh, I guess they're kind of tied two and three, is going to be RNG, but specifically the reward RNG and if it gives us extensions or bodies. That's going to be a big one. And the other, um, obviously, will be the wave RNG, what waves we get. So one thing I'm going to do is I usually like rolling until we have tough people. And tough is really good. I feel like tough is the best trait overall in the game for how I play generally on a 500% on a no pause run because it basically stops one shots from happening on those people. But uh, we're not getting to the point where tough really matters. So I'm going to try out some other roles instead. So we're going to start with Lost Tribe again. Winston Waves. Uh, we are going to go no pause as always. Commitment mode. Losing is fun. Pumped up to 500%, which is the highest you can go. And then everything else is the default. Okay. Uh, we're going to go with the same world seed. Uh, Smurf actually scouted out a decent map that he posted in Discord. I might try that later, and I might try a mountain map. But for right now, I'm just going to go with this again. Uh, we're going to pump the population up to max. Otherwise, stay the same. There's a couple of ones that I, I've been thinking about that are going to be really good for the run. Jogger would be good. Quick Sleeper will be amazing because uh, we have a raid every single day. So it gets more work done. And then Industrious. So I'm going to try... I'm going to experiment with those today. I'm going to start out with some Industrious pawns. So I'm going to roll for Industrious and good at construction, basically. And go from there. Um, but yeah, Jogger is going to be good as well. All right, I am going to make a little bit bigger map to give us some wiggle room. And we are still going to go with the Temperate Forest. But I think I might try to get a river map. And we might try to incorporate the base near the river so that our future kill tunnel, if we have one, can, uh, well, be around the river or on the river. So, um, let's see here. We got some Timber Forest over here. There's not any big rivers, though. Uh, Timber Forest here. Small rivers. Timber Forest over here. This one might be decent. Okay, so here's a decent-sized river, and it's near several places to trade. Um, you know what? The factions are different. Did I set everything the same as before? WW, population max. Yep. Weird. So I'm black. Welcome in. 600, 600 maps. <laughs> 325. Okay. All right. Weird. Weird. Anyway, um, you missed the end fights. The end fight on which one? We're on run four of, uh, of Winston Waves now. All right, so I'm going to try to settle on the river and, uh, and implement that. Trading is important in a normal playthrough, but honestly, they're not going to get restocked in time anyway. 
So I'm gonna look for a river map that has, uh, let's see, sandstone would be ideal. There we go, sandstone and slate. Don't know this map, we're gonna try it though. All right, so the ideology, I've been thinking about that a little bit. Um, the end fight, well, there was there were several end fights yesterday, so sandstone is the fastest building stone. Um, yes, we lost twice yesterday, yeah. So you missed the two losses yesterday. Um, sandstone is is the fastest built stone, and since HP doesn't really matter as much for stone anymore with breachers, uh, I just like to have one that goes up quickly. So um, we are going to go with a with this ideology, and I was talking about it in Discord, and I was explaining why I've been going Tunneler, and um, at first people were like, maybe you should not go Tunneler for this since you're not going under mountain. But I'll quickly explain why I think Tunneler is the way to go with this. Uh, it has a lot of bonuses for this. When we start with stone cutting, and we have no time for stuff. We have no time for research. So starting with stone cutting allows us to get stone walls up, which is very, very... You're dead? No, not yet. Uh, very, very important. Um, but other than that, it'll also allow us to roof our entire uh, footprint later on to, or to make it so that uh, mech drops can't happen on top of the base. Um, and if we ever make it to mining, uh, they also don't care about small spaces. Like, there's a lot of good things about it, but even just starting with stone cutting alone as tribal is, is very good. So I am going to go with these four again. We might place with some other stuff, but, uh, yeah, same one as yesterday. Um, all right. All right. So we are going to use random plus. If you've never seen random plus, it allows you to put in what you want to roll for. It will roll until it hits something like that, if it's possible. So it can't roll for pawns that aren't possible for you to roll for yourself, but make sure you don't roll past them. So construction, I'm actually gonna see if we can get a five construction, a four planting, and a five shooting. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that, um, but uh, we're, we're gonna see. And we're gonna allow it to roll fast a bunch of times. Uh, we want them to be 35 or younger, health condition, um, only starting conditions and, uh, incapable. Oh, no. All right. Let's see. Let's see if this, uh, actually finds some pawns like this. Normal raids are big threats like bugs. It only disables normal raids. All other major threats can happen. Careful shooter. I do not want that. Undergrounder will be fine later on, but annoying early. I think that's okay. We can deal with that. Volatile misogynist. Greedy. No. Industrious jogger. Look at that. There we go. Look at this pawn. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's absolutely amazing. So Mike. Ascetic jogger industrious. Is a pawn able to spawn architect limbs? Oh, I should have checked that one. In here? No. Not without a mod, I should say. Nervous Ugly. Iron Willed Industrious. Grounder. Or grounder Industrious Tough. Should have probably went with that. Quick Sleeper Industrious Undergrounder. Okay. Good enough. It didn't take very long to hit those either. So we probably won't run into these pawns at all, but I might as well have them there. All right, let's get um, the Q command is not broken. It's disabled. So here's what was happening. I might should clip this to go back to it because I've said it a lot. And I know people are always coded in. Basically, what was happening is too many people were checking the Q over and over. We'd have like 20 people try in a row and it was sending too many requests to the Twitch API and it was locking it because it was getting spammed with the request to pull. And it was like locking us out for like an hour at a time. And it would make it so I couldn't pull names from the queue. So I had to disable all the commands aside from mine or else I, I can't choose names from the queue. So uh, I don't know if there's a way around that, but stingy with the API calls. Yeah, yeah, they are. See, it's working for me, but yeah, I had to do that. Goose, Goose is in, who's next? 
Chaos and Lobster. I don't think either of you have been in a run before, so exciting for you. What a terrible, what an absolute terrible one for you to get in on, though. Uh, Bizey. <laughs> the queue is absolutely moving here. Sandusky. And last but not least... Alf. Oh god, not Alf. Alright, here we go. Uh, I just talked about it. I, I can't allow the Q command to be used anymore because it's, it's being used too much and locking me out from being able to choose names, so it's disabled. I will probably update the command itself to let people know that it's disabled. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> I don't know this map, so we're going to have to scan it really quick. Man, that only took 200 rolls to get this guy. Run number four. 500% no pause playthrough of Winston Waves. <laughs> I think if you mute the tab, it still counts. Yeah, saucy. From what I understand, at least it does with like Chrome, so I, I imagine Opera is the same, but. Oh, what a crappy little river. What a crap river. Tree there. Oh well, we're still gonna use it, so. I guess. Um, Alright. Repair, housing. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get a little bit of food down. I'm not going to do as much to start with as I have been doing. So just a very little bit here. We're going to set this to rice. Go ahead and turn the fertility overlay off. Uh, we're going ahead and allow everything. And grab our crappy starting bows that we will probably never use. Okay. Work. Let's go ahead and set this up firefighting patienting we have not great doctors but oh well uh wardening we probably won't have to worry about that but we'll set those two don't really have a great cook but whatever construction one on everyone growing planting okay don't really have good crafters this time but we need blocks cut and our research is god-awful. All right, nice. Okay. So we will utilize the river at some point. But uh, it's not going to be as great as I had initially wanted. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We're going to chop the wood in this area. We're going to get just a small base set up. And then we're going to uh, be lined to cutting stone. Is there there's steel there too? Okay. We're gonna need a little bit of steel. And let's see, I don't wanna set up this initial zone here. Uh, we'll just put it. Yeah, this will be fun. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, for structure, let's go ahead and get this going here. Looks like we got a pet monkey. <laughs> nice. Not really nice, but it's been a while since I had a pet monkey. Uh, do we have any buildings nearby? Not really. Not really. First raid is going to be pirates. Two pirates. Okay. Let's answer. We have. <laughs> Let's go on iced tea. I want to use AMA. It highlights the message. It's supposed to be used for, like, you know, important, like, hey, you got to see this message thing. Let's go unleash. My button. What button? 
Uh, Hydro, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, Hydro. Furniture, let's go get a table down. Six, okay. From Royal School. It's so important. Favorite biome? No temperate forest is like the easy one. Uh, I actually like Boral Forest the best because it's just an all around. You get to experience like everything pretty much. All the seasons. It's not great at building, but it's not terrible. I, I don't know. I just uh, I like the Boral Forest for some reason. Even though it's not really a it's not really a great place, you know? <laughs> it really isn't. All right, let's go ahead and remove the roof area here. Stone cutter. Okay. Since we're on this number four mountain, well, you can get mountain on any any map type, yeah. Yeah, I like the Boral Force. It, it just looks nice. You know, I don't know. There's something about it. It seems like um, it's definitely not an easy map. Um, but if you can get like a 30, 60 Boral Forest, it, it feels like a, a really nice like experience overall. Oh, they have on the button down shirt. Yeah, that just happens with ideology. If you set any, you can set any kind of um, clothing that they like and they'll just start with it out of the list. I can even start them with helmets or whatever or hats. Some kind of fantastical forest, yeah. All right, who is the miner here? Goose. Okay, goose. So we're going to cut any block, do forever, and we're going to drop it on the floor. Cut it on over to here. Um, yeah. Any block is fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and set our default stuff. So we're going to go in here and set their defaults. Uh, medicine to doctor with no medicine. Because I don't want to end up screw anything up here. As far as someone dying because I'm looking for a certain medicine. Attack if you're under attack. Uh, we're going to go into quest. Turn off goodwill. This is all in the base game. No mods required for that. Recon helmets and recon armor, no particular reason. Yeah, there's a reason they didn't put those in there, yeah. <laughs> it's their culture. Okay, get those hauled, please. Animals, they're already bonded to these, but uh, we're probably going to kill them. Probably going to kill them. Butcher creature, do forever, human only. And then, butcher creature, do forever. Too bad we didn't start with uh, pets with more meat on them. <laughs> you know? Okay, add meal, 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 that's right. Add meal, uh, do to have X. X is gonna be, let's go with just 12 for now. Fossil six. Meat only. Meat and animal frogs only. And everything. Okay. Kill the monkey. All right. First time you got north, really. Arrest the streamer. I just killed our monkey. However, because of um, because of human primacy, they shouldn't care about it. All right. So, what kind of blocks are these? Are off that? They're slates. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Um, again. So we can probably mine through some of this. Use some of it to our advantage. Um, we'll go ahead and build along this river area here. Mm 
the geothermal brought in, and we can always expand later. But let's get uh, let's get something set up here. Okay, we have kind of a natural kill tunnel there. <clears throat> okay. All right, another thing that I want to do is I want to get another room here and get uh, ritual started right away. Unfortunately, this crap is in here, so it's going to take a little bit of time to destroy those, especially with bows. So we might just make this smaller to start with. So let's just go over seven and drop down. Uh, we could even just do the ritual closet, actually. Yeah, screw it. Don't even need to do that. Okay. The man tree this time, it's it's over here. It's too close to the edge, really. So, and we don't really have time to do it in these runs. We just we just don't. I I tried on the first one, and after the wave start, you just have no time. That's right. Sometimes you just get attacked by 80 Yorkies and they they just happen to be made out of meat. It's not like I chose for them to be made out of meat. It's not my fault. Okay, structure. Slate wall. Uh, so the first thing actually is I'm going to go in here and go to miscellaneous. We're going to make this altar closet. Small wooden altar. We're going to put it right here. Move this bed over. Floor. We're going to drop some wood floor in there. Shrink that. Okay. And we just need a little trap tunnel to start with. I'm not going to go full out. We just need it to basically kill this first raid. So one, two. It's fine. All right, the altar closet is good. Uh, let's see here, we need a lectern. Wooden is fine. I don't know why I always put that down, it's just have it. it. Doesn't, I don't think we even need it. Okay, another altar and a pew. Okay. Waves and waves will increase by a flat percent every time. Yes, but all other major threats can still happen. So we can still have manhunters. Uh, those are based on wealth. They're based on Cassandra's coding. So like manhunters, infestations, mech clusters, off map problem causers, all that kind of stuff happens uh, basically as Cassandra. But if Cassandra would have rolled a raid, instead it skips that raid. So raids can't happen, but all other major threats can. Uh, and they seem through uh, our testing on Discord that those ones are actually based on wealth. Which is a little scary because you can kind of like just be not thinking about anything about waves and get a freaking massive mech cluster before you're ready. Trishan Pond's amazing to play early. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Leader present, don't care. Trying to get some more bodies here. We'll do a door there. We'll go over like 12, do another one. Door there, over like 12, another one. Okay. We get a jo joint event from this. And the RNG can get you tons of wealth, yep. Yeah. No joint event, unfortunately. Let's do it again. Not getting too lucky there.
pretty unfortunate. It's 100%, it's 2%. Yeah. What's annoying about it is if you look at it, the expected quality of 100%, with 100% quality, it can still get terrible. Which I've always found uh, kind of crap. But even if it's good, it's then a coin flip. So it's like, we have to do two positive rolls to get a joint of it. Uh, who's our happiest person? We have an iron willed person, we'll probably use them as the moral guide, so Sandusky probably. Alright, let's go again. We need pawns. <laughs> oh, come on. Unforgettable. Again. Bad luck, man. I like Sanguine better overall. Iron Will will help them not break down, but doesn't give them extra mood. Sanguine actually gives them extra mood, which also means more uh, or higher chances at things like inspirations. All right, we got oops, Kelby, 31-year-old greedy and lazy, but you know what? They can fight, so we're taking anyone this time. XCOM percentages, yeah. Like this Winston fellow? Yeah, we will... So, to be clear, we will always lose against Winston. Always. The goal is to see how long we can last. What's going on, r -squared? So we got a Warden, so... That'll do. And a Crafter. Okay. All right, recreation for two, sleep for three. Recreation for two, sleep for three. We're gonna start getting some mood hits for not recreating in a, in a while here soon after their initial optimism wears off. So let's go ahead and get down a uh, hoopstone. A game of Ur. Not stone blocks anyway. Um, so not exactly. So a long time ago, they changed it actually in alpha where crafting, even though cutting stones is a crafting skill, stone cutting speed is not based on crafting at all. Someone with no crafting skill will create stones just as fast as someone with a 20 skill. Stone crafting is only based off, stone crafting speed on the pawn side is only based off global work speed. So these industrious people will probably make stones faster than noob. No, oh, hoop stone in the house. Let's go on soul sapper, we'll go back. Yeah. And no longer gives experience either. You can get mods, obviously, that change it back to how it used to be. But it's, yeah, yeah, it's a real game. Um, and one of the oldest games that we know of. Does a crafting passion make them enjoy it, though? Yeah, it's still a crafting job. It just doesn't use the crafting skill as a speed increase. There's a mod that undoes that change. That's right. That is right. Okay. So outer walls, first most important. Understand probably how your manager thinks of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't remember. Is that one they can actually walk through? I don't think so. I know those ones aren't. A party. What kind of parties? Butcher creature, do forever. Human like first. Let's reset that up. Which creature do forever allow everything high shields to mortar proof the base or do they not work after the cluster dies you cannot do that anymore without a mod when um when 
Royalty first came out, you could actually uh, use Minify Everything mod and it would allow you to take them home. But now, as soon as the mech clusters, you can't claim them um, while the mech cluster is there. And as soon as the mech cluster dies, they are deactivated. But again, you can use the mod to get high shields, but baseline, uh, no, you can't do that anymore. Seven days. Uh, I had to disable the Q command. I'll make a command explaining why I had to do that. But I've already explained it a couple times today. I know you just got in, but I don't want to keep explaining the the command thing. But basically, I had to deactivate or else I couldn't pull names from it. Long story short. Okay, zones. We're gonna have the inside zone. Walls work angles. Okay. Let's go on to resting. Thank you, Saffer. So the idea welcome in Starfield. <laughs> it's a long command. I have two more. Let's do them. 86, dead. Lish, focused. Yeah, but these Winston Wade playthroughs, oh my god, terrible. Have been, uh, have been terrible, yeah. We got one last chance here. Wow, look at that. One for six. We did six coin flips and we failed five of them. That sucks. Hopefully get some good reward RNG. That's all we can hope for. Feels bad. Feels bad. Expand the inside zone to our little hut here. Expand walls to inside the, you guessed it, the walls. Expand the work zone. I'm gonna leave us on this side of the river. So people aren't getting wet. Only percent to get a pawn should be 40 to get a pawn every ritual. Quite unlucky. Yeah, it's pretty unlucky. Yep. This is run number four. Yep. First run of the day. Which quote? Let's see. <laughs> oh god, that would be a terrible granny quote. <laughs> How do you make items out of shield cores? Uh, you have to research shields in the research tree. Once you do that, you can turn them into uh, into low shields, drop shields, shield packs, whatever you want to call them. Just call them what the game calls them. I know, I know. Uh, but yeah, in the research tree, it's the same one where you research to make shield belts. It will also allow you to, uh, on a machining table, to turn the uh, shield cores from mech clusters into low shields. All right, uh, we gotta get that one done. And then I wanna test here. Okay, is it? Yeah, no one can go out, perfect. Okay, um, so I want to extend this, um, and then I want to 
get research for beds down. Okay, what kind of blocks? We're still cutting just slate. Hey, those those dogs those dogs died of old age. I had nothing to do with it. My basic sleep schedule. Show me the one you're using now. Your palms constantly falling out of exhaustion. What? Are you using work instead of anything? Because they definitely shouldn't be getting exhausted at all, unless you're using, like, a mod or something. In fact, you should have the opposite problem, yeah. That's really, uh, really odd. So, Miss Piggy. Calarina, welcome back. This one I'm using right now. Real the trap. There's only one of them that's down, but we're not going to use it on the next wave anyway, so it's not super important. So, you got 30 tiles deep. What in-game weapon would you use in this scenario? Just using a mixture. 30 tiles deep. Hmm. I would probably use assault rifles overall. But it's not going to be optimal either way. Yeah. I'd probably use assault rifles. That's what you have the most of. Getting Sandy Lance. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. <clears throat> you have the same schedule. Uh, it's hard for me to know without seeing your base because... I can't imagine why they would be exhausted. In fact, I would think they would be having the opposite problem, unless your base is just friggin' massive. The ponds are constantly walking so far to pit berries and the like. Well, you need to use um, zones to make sure they're not traveling that far, then. It's the only thing I can think of, so. You need to use allowance zones in their assignment if you're not already. Because. If my pawn has a job to go to the opposite side of the map, then yeah, they're going to get exhausted regardless of their schedule. So it has nothing to do with schedule-based. It's probably to do with where they're allowed to go. Because what happens in RimWorld is they will queue up a job, and especially on really big maps, that's what, what the game is talking about, how it breaks the AI. It's breaking the AI of your colonists, not like the enemies. What it does is your colonists, if they have a job to go get something at the edge of the map, they will ignore their own personal needs and they just like tunnel vision, laser focus on going and doing that job. And it will make them become exhausted, starve, whatever. So uh, without seeing, I, I mean, I would have to see like a screenshot or something of the, the map and the base to know 100%. If you want to post that in Discord, feel free to. Um, but that's the only thing I can think of just based on this information is that they are traveling way too far. Uh, all right. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, the Discord is... You don't have to be a sub to join, so feel free to join the Discord if you want, and uh, you can post a picture of it in there, and I'll better be able to, uh, to figure out, you know, what's going on if you want. Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. No, I haven't pasted it yet. I was talking and, uh, and forgot... Man, I can't believe we got so few out of that. Only one day. Okay. Alright, so we're going to want um, eventually a kill set up here. But until then, I can just start working on a burn area. So we'll do a basic burn area coming into a small kill box and we'll just set it right here. Um, so we'll need these to be, these will already be double. So we can just use that as part of it. And then we can double this. A new subscriber. Come this should be yourself. quite big enough. Uh, Minoc, thank you for the two gift subs. So many gift subs today. Thank you, Minoc. To Lumbridge and to the new Alexander. Do I ever miss the pause button? I haven't used pause in over three years, so not really. Not really. For me now, it's just like the game doesn't have pause and it never has, because I've used it for so long.
So that's already going to be doubled. We can just have them come through right here. Uh, we'll have them come through the burn area. So we'll put the burn stuff right here. That should be big enough. We want them to walk through it. Okay. So going Uncle Jay caught one of the streams? Thank you, thank you. So we'll have them walk right through. I kind of want them to walk this way, actually. Yeah, okay. So we'll have it here. That should be plenty. And so we want them to enter there. So from the top. Okay. That should be enough. All right. So entering there. Have the enemies go over here. Uh, I could extend out one more and add one more loop. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we have an idle person. I don't want that. Um, goose. So clear this. They will enter here. This way. That way. This way. So we want them to go through here. I should we have enough to burn any size raid? Might be a little bit too big. We can just make part of it to start with. Gonna be like a long-term thing we can just make like to here and then we can extend it out later if we need okay. all right um how many blocks do we have we have 300 let's go ahead and start doubling this up Number four. It's a burn tunnel, yeah. All right. Doesn't give XP, yeah. It is I think it is faster punch, at least with these weapons. Once the first wave starts. Oh, transfer pod. Space for a job. They're okay. No. So new meta, I don't know. If. These? Uh, it's just for kiting purposes. Just for kiting purposes. Kind of like how we did on the no kill box run. Permanent winter. Fire does not even spread. Cools down really rapidly. <laughs> Silly pot. If you want to be saved, you should have been better. And already of our faction. That's right. 
Have good traits. Beds, hopefully. Uh, this challenge storyteller is hard enough without having to battle a, a map, so. We're literally, we will literally die, literally die every attempt, eventually. See, I the other mods, this wouldn't be impossible. Let's go ahead and Finn. Man, those corner doors, the three pawns, I'm not gonna melee block at them. So, these ones have nothing to do with melee blocking. And we ain't, we'll have plenty of other choices for melee block, but no, we're not gonna be melee blocking any, at any of these. That's not their, uh, their purpose. Uh, let's wait on this. They're just to be able to get out of the base and back in interest, or, uh, quickly. We did an entire 5% no pause, no kill box, no cover run before this one. Uh, using the same strategy and it worked out very, very well. See, I get ahead of the curve in this, which might be impossible, but we shall see. Okay, claim. Uh, let's see, claim that. And there's not a lot of uh, pre-existing structures on this map. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. I wonder where the Ancient Danger is. Oh, did we get unlucky and get a map without an Ancient Danger? It could be buried deep, but I don't see the edge of one. Hmm. 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 That's also unfortunate. All right, one hour. Here we go. Wave number one, and then it's nonstop. <laughs> All right. Melee, we're just gonna let them beat on the walls. Way to go, Zeno. Take that friggin' table out. No centipede defenders this run? No. <laughs> oh my god, that dinosaur's playing with portals. We got a laptop coming at us. Go ahead and uh, destruct this. And I think I'm going to go ahead and throw mushrooms over here. None of them have gotten to the walls yet. Okay. Yeah, until these attackers are killed. Yeah, or leave the map. Yep. Yeah.
Okay, you want to get a fueled stove. Oh, the, uh, the lectern is blocking it. It's like, why isn't this wall taking any damage? Wait, it is taking damage. It's just... It's just, it's just healing itself. Jin, Oxide included. Terraria like. Said he did recommend it even though he haven't played recently. Um, so it's not Terraria like. It is. It's all. It's like RimWorld, only it's much more science based and you don't get attacked by things. So in Oxy Not Included, you have to worry about, like, uh, temperature. You have to worry about different gases and how they interact with one another, different liquids and how they interact with one another. Um, there's a lot, a lot to it, but it's more, uh, science-based, I would say. Self-repairing walls! We can win! Just repairing earned construction skill? Uh, yes. Yes. A little bit. Where is that other raider? Oh! He finally realized that he was destroying just random crap. But yeah, it's colony management and survival game. So. Can't build that until they're gone. that one out as long as we could. Do you recommend it or not? Yes, if you like those type of games, yeah. yeah. Uh, it is really good, and they've made it better since the last time I played. My one problem, so I liked Oxygen Not Included a whole lot. My only problem with it is back when I played all those hundreds of hours, um, the end game was very boring. So the end game at that time, and again, it's been changed since then, um, the end game at that time was literally, all right, Get enough stuff to build a rocket ship so you can send it over to a meteor or whatever so it can collect um, uh, an item, items that you can't get on your current map to bring back so you can build a slightly better rocket to go to a slightly further away meteor, asteroid, whatever, and just repeat that process forever until you get to the furthest away and that's it. So once you got to that point, it was just kind of like, ooh, pun reward. Nice. It's kind of like meh, but they have redone all that, so it's all been changed. So that's uh, another, another greedy, slow learner. Okay. We're basically taking anyone this time. Because we just need bodies. So I'm sorry, whoever this is. You waited in the queue. Did you wear a green shirt to watch stream? Yes. It's Uncle Jay. <laughs> another doctor, though, which is nice. Another cook. We're crafting. Okay. Do I have a weapon? Sorry. You're gonna have to deal with it. All right, so the timer has begun. The next one is two archers. We're gonna install that one as well. Put stone blocks out here. Steel. Turn those off from this one. Important. Okay. So our main goal is going to be able or to get the double walls up, especially the double doors.
Uh, I should probably move that one too. I was originally going to put this further out, so we'll just move that over one so we won't build that one yet. That one's still fine though, because it's just for uh, for speed. Same thing here, we'll just move that one. In there, okay. Roofs. Who cares about roofs? Copy these. Destroy that. That. Okay. A goal in mind. Uh, the goal right now is always to just survive longer than our current record, which is 24 waves. I would really like to get to 50. Uh, and then to a hundred, <laughs> but I don't know if it's possible. Let's go Major Hertz. Thanks, Mr. Crumbs. I try. Fake anger. Okay. I'm done. Let's see Preston is here. Decent. Okay. Uh, we have ran ourselves out of food, so we're going to have to allow them to get berries. We might actually kill one of the next raiders. Could hunt the mega slots. Very, very dangerous, though. That'd be a lot of food. That would be a lot of food. do it migrate to the existing ship on the map and start your base there that could be interesting yeah and it would reset the um the waves starvation yeah, yeah. all right let's go So I, have, uh, I didn't plan as much food as normal this time, just so we could get the base done before the wave, but it might end up coming to bite us. We'll see. No anima tree. We don't have time for anima tree. Anima tree is near the edge of the map anyway. It doesn't matter. But with the storyteller, we just don't have time for it. waves got here how'd you manage that so fast uh i took all builders this time instead of tough i rolled to get industrious so we're not tough like we have been okay we're gonna try to get a shot off on this again
five hours. Terrible at shooting, I think, most of us. Short bows have no stopping power. <laughs> here. Okay, we got Hyena. Rex. We're cannibals, yes. But I need to extend these first couple uh, waves. We are cannibals, yep. We actually have like Campbell ideology this time. It's not a raid, it's dinner. That sucks. It's gonna reach the door. Apparently there's potatoes out there. <laughs> I didn't make a, a roof out there. Okay, they're out doing whatever. Do I have any steel left here? Not really. Update it to actually answer, or to let people know that. Okay, they're giving up as well. Next way, we don't know yet. What the queue is, it's to get your name as a colonist. Pawn joins again, okay. Freeholder. Hard worker, chemical interest, okay. All right, let's see what it is. Chasm. The Q is a conveyor belt of death. Good luck. A cook. Another builder. Nice. Nice. A new subscriber. Come steal yourself. What the? We are building an army. Ah. Uh Wait, how many is it? It just keeps going. <laughs> what did I just walk in on? <laughs> it's still counting over on the other screen. Uh, Sigarosa, they were the 50 gift subs. My God, I'd be crazy to read all these names. And eventually when this VOD goes up on YouTube and things, people will, 
People don't want to hear me sit here and read 50 names. Uh, see Rosa, thank you for the gift sub. Two, Voxra, Super Sponge, Sauce, Hansel, Wesley, Purple, Lechmet, Cal, uh, Boogie Dorf, Vlosk, Eight. I'm going to go with Pat, Naked, something or another. I think it's Chappelle. No, it's not quite. Uh, Dark Sienna, Din, Sour, Meandief, Les, Bart, Caniel, Lord, Useless Loot, Rapture, Sky Guy, Vox, Path, Bove, Nova, Ice Mort, Sesne, Arcmaster, Captain Three Bottles, Cup of Tea, Bin, uh, Name I Can't Read, Anton, Vale, Dat, Katie, Doe, <laughs> Gamer Blitz, Sim, Lord Otik, Six Human Harvest, I Like Luna, Killer Poo, <laughs> The Purple Towelette, uh, Ace, Level 19, Magikarp, uh, Dell and Will. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Sigarosa. That is super generous. Much love to Rosa for the support. Good enough. My wife hit me 50 times a pool noodle will cause that. Jeez. Thank you, Rosa. Very kind. <laughs> Reverse psychology. I think it is. Thank you. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Let's go like Met, Harry Cats, Troy, Blushy, Schnan, Cow, welcome in. All the abuse, how do I handle it? It's just play fighting. Just play fighting. Alright. How long? 13 days. Uh, so we want to get the burn tunnel up. A new What's up, by like? What's going on, by like? Uh, wave ten at least. Uh, Neff, thank you for the twenty gift subs. To try me, Raff, Forgotten Lands, Dead Symphony, uh, Overdone, Blue Adder, Retro, B One, Torg, Bell, Moon Lord, Laya, Ham, Nominal Geek, Rob John. Ash like and the customizer. <laughs> Thank you, Neff. Also very kind. Much love to Neff as well. Holy cow. Even 100. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a very long time. And to Screwball. I missed that one. Uh, Thank you, Neff. Jeez. Much appreciated. <laughs> Alright, let's get, this, uh, get to work on this. He will join us or die. Uh, all right, let's go up here. We're going to start with a small one. Hey, we got beds done. All right, another thing I want to do here. Let's go on Harry. Uh, we actually need some more wood. Uh, let's go through here, and who's our main construction person? It is Chasm. Chasm is also a hard worker. 12, Burning Passion Construction. We're going to go in here, and we're going to go ahead and make them a production specialist right off the bat. We're going to make good beds to start with. Yeah. Uh, a timeout isn't like... It doesn't go on your permanent record, so... It just deletes the message. It's not like a band or something. And Troy! <laughs> Troy, they were the... Uh, five gift subs also. The hell it us. Kurt! Stone! Paper! Uh, Darkest Hour Books and Elsie Resner. Thank you, Troy. Also much appreciated. Just love to Troy. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go into a furniture here. And Chasm is going to be building these. We're looking for excellent beds. Be nice. Tab, chemical interest. Surely that won't backfire. Surely not. Excellent bed. Way to go, Chasm. Look at you. Excellent bed. Yes. Chasm. You're really helping this. Masterwork. Fantastic. This one hurts. Pilot wash. Welcome in. Normal? You rip that piece of crap down. Excellent or better. Chasm, excellent or better. Thank you. 
In fact, with excellent, we don't even need an in table. So I don't need to do this uh, configuration. So we are just going to go ahead and reinstall these here. So the reason, if anyone's wondering, is if you have an excellent or better bed, it only takes one additional comfort source attached to it to cap out the comfort. So you can actually just have excellent beds uh, and a dresser, and that's all you need. Okay. Masterwork, look at you. Look at you, Chasm. These beds are really going to help with rest recovery as well, so we can get even more work done. Very nice. Very nice. Way to go. Good job. Research, see if we can get to electricity. Die, we got 12 hours. We can uh, we can keep working during that. Okay. Um. Do we want to just go ahead and make the the whole one here? Um. No. We'll we'll just start on the smaller one. So get that done. Okay. Maybe I will do it. It's not actually that much more. Um, it or eventually we're going to use it for a bunch of different uh, different waves. So there we go. That should be uh, plenty. Okay. You will join us or die, Master. It's still going. Uh, uh, I swear. Thank you for the gift Factory of Horrors. How apt of you to get that one. And Narth, thank you as well. Who'd you hit? D Gizmo. Thank you, Darth. Thank you, R squared. Now, science, we have a path inside. Run out of time. Uh, that's what I'm thinking too, is actually connecting it here and we can literally keep building this while the wave is, is hitting it, right? So, um, I was gonna just go ahead and put the door there. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do that and I'll leave that shut and we can just access it while we're doing it. Now nah, chat, it's 5% too. Oh, I see that. Which is, which is the button? Uh, welcome to this side. All aboard the hype train. There it is. I had it on the wrong set. All of, all aboard Thanks. The hype train. Thanks, Wayne. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Can we survive 13 more days? We're only in wave three. We're really pushing it. We are pushing, pushing, pushing. Yeah, we're not going to get this one done before the next wave, I don't think. Actually, Mike can. Yeah, we, we can we can do this. We just throw a wall there for now. Nice. So we're going to expand the wall area to cover this. Inside the walls. That's not open. Okay. There we go. Now we can get some more of this work done during that. So, structure. Uh, let's go ahead and do slate fence. So we're gonna have two doors there. So the fence is gonna start here. There we 
It is an immediate attack raid. Boy, we are rushing this time. This is the biggest footprint we've had on one of these Winston Wave challenges so far at, at Wave 3. Kind of crazy. Hopefully we get another pawn reward. That would be ideal. I, mean, I still can't believe all the gift subs that you guys are getting. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah, we took five industrious instead of five tough. It's really, really helping so far. Okay, here they are. There's three of them this time. It's going to fail. Welcome in. Out of food again. Uh, almost. We have 75 raw. I need to turn off them eating raw food, actually. As soon as the mushrooms start coming in, we'll be good on food for basically ever. We usually have uh, human meat by now, but I'm not killing these on purpose to buy some time for more defense, so. Yeah, and we got food poison because of it. Where's lobster? Lobster. Wait, who's on the cooking now? Oh, it's Uncle Jay. I meant to set him as a uh, priority. I think I might pop out and kill this one. The other ones aren't nearby. Got some rice that's almost done. Probably we already hit this guy in the rain. Oh, he's got food poisoning. He's not going to be of any help. Oh, nice hits. Another one coming, we gotta be safe. Go and starve it, we're still low in food. Let me go ahead and go into a sign. Manage food, lavish, turn off, raw. Difficult? Yes, yes it is. Uh, I always play on 500% no pause, so it's losing is fun. Chasm! I was paying attention! Oh my god. Christ. This run's going so friggin' well. We'll lose it because I was, uh, I accidentally didn't forbid that door and then I was answering a question. Uh, we always do 500% no pause. Hardest difficulty. And we add other things to that. Uh, the storyteller we will always lose on, but it's just how long we can survive. I really didn't want to beat this wave yet. So it goes, uh, resource, random good. Let's try random good. 
Okay, Chasm, what happened to you? Oh, you're fine. Just bruises, and we got a little bit of meat. Uh, where did our random normal reward go? land? I forgot to put the uh, reward beacon down. I'm so not used to using that. Okay. Play game is so smooth. Well, it's early game, so early game is always pretty smooth on my computer. Uh, and then we also are using Rocket Man, which is an import, um, a performance enhancing mod. Do we have enough wood for a butcher table? We do. Wood. Okay. One point one days. So on pineapple. It was an orbital trade. That friggin' sucks. How? Yeah. We don't have a beacon. So that reward was basically nothing. We just didn't get a reward pretty much. Feels bad. Okay, so gotta remember that Uncle Jay is on the cooking. Okay. All right. Way four, so we're two ways away from a from a um, a boss wave. <laughs> Get micromanagement. I would say we just don't have the research for it yet because we're tribal and just got started. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that too. Yeah, that's one reason why I wanted a um, a river map was to use it in our eventual kill tunnel and also to use it to screw the AI. Performance enhancing with Rocket Man. <laughs> one day, one day, okay. All right, um, we can, let's see. Mushrooms are at 48. We want to grow some more as well. We'll probably just fill in this area over time. Starvation, yeah. We might want to let's see, where's Uncle Jay? Force him to cook. I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, make pemmican do forever. The end. Ben Torgman. Does Winston disable the caravan to ship quest? No, no. You can you can completely exploit it by the the wave timer resets every time you go to a new map. So we could just exploit it, but I'm not gonna do that. Does it work with multiple colonies? No, it, it, like I was just saying, yeah. What do we get? We got a friggin' orbital trade, but uh, we don't have orbital trade beacon yet because we're too early in the game to have that as tribal. So. Nineteen hours. I'll saving skill three, <laughs> three, which is the minimum that you can get inspired taming with. They're hanging out, corpse. Morbo, welcome in. All right. Uh, what is nearby? So four pirates coming next. Okay. Let's keep working on this. Staring at you like at a zoo, yeah. Our two first two rewards were good. Third one was basically nothing. I was going Feltzo. Oh, I thought I deleted that, yeah. Good catch, thank you. Shaman merchant. They'll be leaving right when the raid gets here. They might intersect, which I don't know that I really want them to, but. Don't really have anything to trade. Do we have anyone that's good at uh, trading anyway? Social? Noob is. All right. Trade them our herbal medicine? I, I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, so after we get the burn set up, we want to get a uh, 
a basic kill area. I think I'm going to put the door there instead. Yeah, I'm good with that. We'll end up moving that entrance, I guess, obviously. Oh yeah, when I was going through quickly. Sandstone goes up so quickly, it's so nice. Alright, everyone stay within the walls. It's out, law these. So it doesn't out again. I think these guys are just gonna take them out anyway, so. Kinda didn't want them to, but we will have the burn tunnel up. We just need to get a Molotov. Same creator as Igor it is, yep. Yep. Just need a Molotov. Can even tame. Oh, I could use. What's the taming requirement on a boom rat? It's gotta be pretty low, right? No, it's seven. Seven is a boom rat. I thought uh, seven was boom will open. That boom rat was lower. Wow. Yeah, sensor is really nice. Flower is a good tactic for early game or best option for mid game too. So it's a trade-off. So the great thing about the flowers is it can make... So this this barracks is very impressive. It doesn't look like it, but it's very impressive because of the bar or the flowers. They can grow in 50% light as well, which is really nice. The trade-off is they have to be replanted. Uh, very... Um, or pretty often, right? So it depends on if you want the trade-off or not. It's good throughout the entire game. Uh, you can just add that beauty. But if you don't want to spin or have your people spend time planting and replanting flowers inside uh, the barracks or whatever rooms you have them in, then uh, switching over to some other form of beauty, you know, it's fun. Boomalope is actually less than Boom Rat, is it really? That's crazy. So they're going to kill the pirates, unfortunately. Steel drop, wood drop, poor weapons. Well, that sucks. Um, take the steel, I guess. All right. Oh, the first boss raid is a double raid point tribal raid. And uh, this is not set up yet, so we're probably going to have to kite it a bit. We'll see. I mean, it, it's kind of set up, but uh, we don't have a way to light it. Do I have a way to light it? Where is the closest person that we can actually trade with? Um, we can trade with purple. Purple. Purple's not super far, but... Wow, there's a Regina there. It must be from Canada. Okay, strip them. Strip them. What? Actually, what are they wearing? This might as well. Uh, let's see. Uncle Jay. Rip them apart. Discord was chatty last night? Yeah, yeah. I, I like seeing it. It's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm in so many Discord servers that are just dead. I seen Overlord? I guess not. <laughs> it's not ringing a bell. So, no. I'm gonna go with no. Must watch anime. I don't have time to watch anything at the moment. I'm so behind on things. 
You want to know the last superhero movie that I watched that I still need to catch up on? The last one I watched, I think, was the first Iron Man. But I'll, I'll get to the other ones, don't worry. <laughs> Spurs of the Fins to slow down raiders. You're in four Discord servers? I'm in like 50 Discord servers. It's kind of crazy. I feel bad if I leave one, so even ones that I no longer even look at, I just stay in. I was like, I don't want, I don't want them to see me leave, so I just turn off alerts for it and I just leave, leave myself in there. Watch them, have four of them at a time on double speed. Movies where they're mostly the same. No, I, but I'm being serious. Like, I'm so behind on so many things. I literally just don't have any time. Like, 99% of my life is just scheduled stuff, so. Like, yesterday, I stopped streaming. I went and I made dinner. I ate dinner, and then I worked on video editing all the way until bed. And then I got up, and I ate breakfast, and I immediately started streaming. I'll do the exact same thing today. Not, uh, it's a fun job, it's still a job, and I, but you know, I'm not complaining about it. I'm very lucky to be able to do it. However, I really have very little time to do pretty much anything. And then I, you know, have family stuff and household stuff, but everyone does, but that's why I'm so far behind on that kind of stuff. Kelp and tabulating poll results, yeah, yeah. Much help, much help. Well, an awful 61%. Do I still use Resolve? I do, yep. Yeah. yeah, Resolve is really, really good. <laughs> the name is quite applicable. And chat off and on. It's the rain time. Trying to sleep. Just takes a lot of the day. End up with just a couple hours. So how much human leather do we have? We have 248, that's probably enough to trade for Molotov. So after the next raid, we're sending someone on the road for Molotov. Do anything other than work? So <laughs> we're kidding you. Let's go on, Emerald Dragon, welcome in. We took a short walk last night when it, uh, in the rain, my wife and my daughter and I, we took a short walk uh, right at dusk and it was raining and we walked. And I was telling my wife about how like, it's like, man, I really hope after doing all this grinding and grinding and grinding every day, working at pretty much every waking moment, that uh, eventually I can just afford to just hire someone full time to do all this crap <laughs> that I, I'm currently doing, aside from the streaming. Man, that'd be nice. Someday we'll get there. Same. Once we'll upload for a bit. Oh, is this a, is this a, a fix, Leno, to what I was talking about. Did you already hear what I was saying about it? What kept happening every stream is lots of people would try to check their position in the queue and it, it would work for a little while and then um, it would just stop. And even if I reloaded the script, I would minimize the screen or uh, stream, I would reload the script or even the whole bot and it would just not work again for, for hours. And then I would load it up, uh, it would finally work again, I would pull names, but when I disable the commands for chat, so chat can't check their place anymore, it always works for me. So it's almost like the Twitch API thinks there's too many requests being pulled or something too quickly, and it like locks me out, almost like you would lock someone out for using a password too much. It's the only thing I could figure, and so far that has worked where I just turn those commands off for chat. Yeah, like, yeah, like there's a limit, yeah. I don't know much about those sort of things, but that's just what um, I kind of, kind of figured. It's the only thing I could figure that was happening. Let's 
rate limiting. Yeah, I didn't know the name for it. So yeah, that's, that's probably what's happening. Throttling it. Yeah. Ah, I got you. So that's on the other version. I thought I changed to that one. I bet I know what I did. I bet I changed to that one when I was moving it to the stream PC. And then I didn't do it on the other one. Because remember how I was moving everything between PCs? I bet that's what I did. Okay. So I'll probably have to make some time to do it. I might have to wait till Monday. Okay. Quest a second and Y per hour. See you left and right. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's not yeah, yeah. You have brain damage, Misfortune. It's yay, yay. Come on. It's so stupid. So you have Misfortune. I don't know if you were here during that conversation, but... The song is mispronouncing it. Actually, you under app settings, there's a slider for API refresh frequency on the version that has it. Okay, yeah, I'll check. Well, I'm betting I never updated on the PC that I have it going on right now. You weren't here for it. So I got, I get comments every so often on YouTube. Like 99.9% .9 of all comments I get on there are actually normal or even nice. But every now and then I get one that says like I'm mispronouncing something. And I got one the other day and uh, the person was like, they said something like, oh my God, I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm. Uh, this, this guy is pronouncing Yayo like he has brain damage. It's not Yayo, it's Yayo. Look it up. And so I was wanting to reply uh, in a mean way, but instead I just literally linked this song and the timestamp where it pronounces it Yayo. <laughs> but anyway, it says more about them than it does about me, but. <laughs> Is this a rerun? No, it turns out that sometimes I have similar conversations with different people. <laughs> uh, everything's pre-recorded though, so yeah, it kind of is. All right, do we want to, um, do we want to withstand this? Like just repair? Or do we want to fight it? There's a lot of video game tournaments going on today. I think we're going to try to hold out. Oh, he actually... Wait, wait, wait. Is this Sappers? It's friggin' Sappers. I didn't read the message. And it's a boss wave. Or breachers, I should say. Breacher, sap, or whatever. Oh my god, someone just friggin' headshot Chasm. Way to go. Wasn't the enemy.
and a double point wave. I wasn't expecting a, a breach rate wave on that one because, but I, I didn't take in mind the double raid point. That was not good. back we'll see how it goes I'm kind of worried about um, infections the food uh, I mean he's already carrying that one so the other ones are gone kind of good on food at the moment though next wave is just a normal raid of two archers wow look at that look at the difference <laughs> So, Goose is still bleeding. Alf, go ahead and send a Goose. Chasm is bleeding. Send a Chasm. Jay, okay. All right, 20 hours to recover. We need to get the uh, those doors back up. Uh, we don't have the luxury of letting people bed rest. They're going to be really upset with being up, but it is what it is. Dusky, get this done. Need wood. Uh, okay. What do we have? We have some slate. So, yeah, if you get on that. Place the normal storyteller raids? Yes, but everything else can still happen, so... Normal raids don't happen, only wave raids, but all other events can still happen, like mech clusters, um, inv or, uh, infestations, manhunter, stuff like that. Okay. I really need to uh, get this done and then get someone out to... Get them all tough. Yeah. Yeah, we had enough wood for one of them. All top would have helped there, but. Alright, let's cut these up. Crafting spot. Let's do this as well. Uh, make war mask. Do until we have one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Eight hours. Can we get out in time? Three eighty-eight. All right. Who are we gonna send? Noob. I guess noob is the way to go here. They, what is their movement? We're going to have to wait a little bit. Cast a bullet to the eye. First one healed, yeah. Yeah, the friendly fire. <laughs> Alright, what do we have left? Uh, we don't have a lot of blocks left. I guess after this wave, we need to try to get out and bring some blocks in. Stop growing the rice now. Alright. It's only nine. We got two. That's right. Man, oh man. Double raid point thing was no joke. We weakened this one though, so.
the eyes ruined with the rest of their head. Completely fine. That's how it goes. Okay. Uh, they were attacked immediately, so not a breach or anything like that. So we should be able to just hole up in here and wait. Okay, let's go ahead and destroy that. 59 more blocks. Go ahead and use what we got. They're here. What is this about? Goose? Goose disrespected noob's way of thinking. Way to go, Red. Take it out. Can't believe this might have spawned with no uh, ancient danger. So as soon as this raid is done, we need to send the... We don't have a pack animal this time, though. Um, man, I should have checked for pack animal when we had the inspiration. Uh, there are stallions and mares. Who's our best handler? We got a five on chaos. Ancient danger. It would show us where a hole is, yeah. I'm wondering if it's in there. Really the only only place. They don't it's not a guarantee. Some maps just don't have an ancient danger. Game of the lurk. Show the whole outside of raid defense. Probably. It's a little scary, but I think we're going to try it. But if if the bugs get pulled to the base, then we're screwed. Also, uh, it seems like infestation and stuff are pretty rare on the Storyteller. When I was screwing around with it um, in developer mode, and we were playing around on Discord and trying to learn some stuff about the Storyteller, um, it, it was hard to even get stuff like that to happen because of the way the, the Storyteller works, but... Jay is fully healed. wonder how much we can carry on that one person. Um, man, man, a taming inspiration would be excellent. I should have grabbed a horse. The last couple times we got lucky, one of our starting animals was a donkey, so I just didn't even think about it this time. I was like, oh, yeah, we got, we got a donkey. No, 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 that wasn't this playthrough. of killing floor loading up support by welding on doors constantly while crap hits them <laughs> yeah i think trying to uh start infestation might be a good idea especially if we can do it like up here so we got a lot of room wiggle room before it would get to us <laughs> right but it's not a guaranteed percent so we have high enough taming to get a horse but the chance of getting it is going to be like 15 to 20 percent, whereas the taming inspiration would have been a guarantee. So I'll still try, but we'll have to get lucky. How long until the uh, festivals? Eight days. Swim skill. I think it's actually it's uh, one or two now. Yeah. They changed it with 1.3. They changed the theirs and uh, and donkeys quite a bit. Let's see.
Yeah, minimum handling skill two. Two. Best hauling animals? As always, the answer is that it depends. Without going into it like in crazy depth, some of the best haulers for multiple reasons are cougars and likewise panthers. Um, they're really, really good. They're fast. They don't cause a lot of filth. They're good at fighting. They don't get hunted by other things. The only downside to cougars and panthers is that they have high wildness. Um, so dogs are very good as well. Labs are slightly better than huskies because they eat just slightly less, but they are not uh, as temp temperature resilient. So labs and huskies are still very good. Um, bears are very good. They cause more dirt, but they're very good combat animals as well. Uh, again, they have high wildness. Grizzly bears eat just slightly less than polar bears, but polar bears are better in the colds. Um, so like always, the answer is it depends. Elephants are gods at hauling, but they're super friggin' dirty. Very, very dirty. They have like a 24 filth rating, highest in the game. Uh, they eat a lot. So medicine, steel, or stone. If we do this, we can just finish the tunnel right now. So. Elephants don't do well in the cold either, no. <laughs> Alright. Kind of to give us limestone, sandstone, slate. Okay. Alright, we need to get out on the road here. Uh, do I want to try to tame a horse really quick? I guess I might as well see if we get lucky on it. Where are they? Oh my god. <laughs> They're also asleep. How much can you hold? Can you hold enough to buy a Molotov? Molotovs are pretty cheap, so... Um, it was going to be noob, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. Alright. It's just going to be slower. How many days? 1.9. Uh, we're better just to wait and see if we get the horse. It'll make it so much faster. Well, let's hunt them. Yeah, it's, it's already fixed. It's okay. I would have noticed either way when I went to right click with new or whoever to go up there because I'm going to manually do it anyway. Thank you. Lobster, lobster. Man, I don't know if we're going to get in time. I'm putting the fear into them. Huh? Next wave, five smoke grenadiers. That is amazing. <laughs> the, the downside is they will still melee the uh, the walls, but. Oh man, if that had been EMP years, that would've been awesome. This is a temp four, yep. Failed that one. Oh, we got to electricity. Come on, chaos. Chaos of lobster. Failed all of them. Okay, what else we got here? We don't have any other caravan animals that actually increase caravan speed. So... We'll let them try again later. Met Cluster. Psychic Suppressor with a high shield. All right. <laughs> we cannot kill a flame stampede at the moment. We have some casualties, like maybe, but... Yeah, but alpaca, let's see. I don't think they're a mountable one. They're a pack animal, but not a caravan animal, kind of like buffalo. Uh, unlike um, dromedaries, right?
Yeah, I, I don't see any mount thing on them. Was there no search for that one? Where is it? Pack animal. It shows the extra speed somewhere too, right? Caravan riding speed. Okay, that's what it's called. Riding speed. Fourteen hours, okay. I thought I made someone an abbot. Oh that was uh that was previously. Yeah, they're, they're they they do not have caravan riding, so Yeah, right. Pack animals, not caravan animals. <laughs> Kill a flame is defeated not without losses with this with this team, yeah. Mounting? No, uh, on the patch notes for it, it's, uh, no, I'm not thinking about that. On the patch notes for it, when this was first uh, being talked about, they said mounting at first. We're like, what? Giddy up's gonna be baseline and be able to mount animals, but it's only on caravan. Dromedary, elephant, donkey, horse, and thrumbo, yep. Used to, it would take the average of all your stuff, so you could just tame rabbits and increase your caravan speed, but not anymore. Any mods? Not many. You can do exclamation mods, but it's basically no pause, P music, and the storyteller. But yeah, exclamation mods. Do we get a second try? No. Okay. Wouldn't mod be vanilla, what would it be? So I'm kind of biased with no pause and P music, so let's just skip those. It wouldn't be giddy up. You know what my one baseline would probably be as a no pause player? If you don't count no pause or P music, like those are too too easy to say, I'd probably go with defensive positions. Defensive positions is so incredibly helpful in general, but especially on no pause. It doesn't, own, it doesn't only allow you to set up multiple defensive positions that you can just go to in a single click. It also lets you hotkey groups of, of colonists. Uh, so it adds some like RTS controls to it and it's just uh, an absolute godsend. But yeah, there's a lot. Replace stuff would be nice, you know. Quality builder would be incredible. Color-coded mood bars. Of course, I would probably pick P music, no pause first. Defensive positions is really, really good. Why are I using it? Because it would take a lot of the additional difficulty of no pause out of the equation. And one of the reasons I like playing no pause is that it's more difficult. What mod adds the 4x speed? The one I'm using is the no pause. No pause replaces pause with the 4x speed button. But there are other mods for speed. I've never used any, but there are some that just add additional speeds. You can also get four speed with no mod by turning on developer mode. Play this playthrough to play with it. it. Yeah, it's really good. I really like it. Yeah, that did happen where I, I did a 500% no pause run in like 1.1 1 .1 or something like that. And I posted it and someone was like, you only beat it because you had all these mods. So then of course I did a 500% no pause, no mods. Uh, run and it's up on YouTube now, see. Pin size effect breeding? I don't think so, as long as the animals are, are still healthy. Not that I know of, as long as they're still getting, uh, you know, the nutrition. Everything. I cannot believe these guys are gonna go fight the mech cluster with just smoke. So I think they're going to.
mission yesterday which required all but two colonists take a trip to on a shuttle to a different map shuttle was returning got a mech drop raid centered on the landing pad Ooh. the mechs were attacking them as they came out one at a time that's crazy i've never had that happen you breathe in and out while you're playing try not breathing while you do it all right i will no <laughs> it's going tet hopefully you and the family are doing doing all right chill and say good job i don't know and the other thing is i'm not like all the things i do in rim world i'm not competing with anyone other than myself you know only mods have a quality of life well i mean someone linked them in the chat there's very little here like i'm not even really using quality of life mods there you go i think the only real quality of life mod i'm not even using blueprints anymore that's not that's not true so the only one that i would say is quality of life is camera plus so i can zoom out more and zoom in more <laughs> that's about it I really want them to go attack the mix. P music, yeah, that's quality. That's true quality of life, actually. It's a good point. You get mad screen tearing when you do that? I have no screen tearing. No one else has ever mentioned screen tearing. Let me look at the stream preview on my other computer. I'm not seeing any on Twitch's side on the other one. You saw a tear? I'm not seeing it anymore. I don't know. I'm not seeing it on mine. Are those column traps? No, those are fences. Track scroll, that's what I was doing. <laughs> but either way, it's all right. Yeah, I think it's it, it'll be on some people's stream, but it's not on mine. There's nothing I can do about it either way. So if you're having the tearing on, on your stream, man, I'm sorry. This is so ridiculous. These uh, visitors with the smoke launchers are trying to kill these tribal visitors, the, the raiders of smoke launchers. What is this? <laughs> Let's go and sack from you. Yeah, I can understand that, Tet. Wow, they actually won because this guy bludgeoned the tribal to death with the smoke launcher. During Dragon's Dogma? I thought it was just you. I don't see any during the Dragon's Dogma either. Not, and I don't just mean on, on my computer. I mean, like, on the stream. Like, you can, go, you can go look at the VOD if you want. Let me know if you see any on the on the VOD. I saw absolutely none. I even scrubbed through the entire VOD when I posted it to YouTube. It's up on YouTube. Yeah, that's really weird. I thought about maybe killing one to get a smoke launcher. Uh, actually, I think they might have dropped one. Yeah, there's one up there. Yeah, I think it's going to be per individual, yeah. Oh. Good luck. Arcotech Emanator, a Winston thing? This? No. This is royalty. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Let's 
Kind of interesting. Haven't seen a suppressor in a while. Yeah, yeah, it's a royalty thing. Yeah. It's not the rewards we want either way. Next is tribals. Okay, we can hold out against those as well. Uh, so we want to send out a trade caravan after we get these. Let's go ahead and set... Uh, who was it? Chaos Lobster. And hopefully we don't pass by the mechs. Oh, we got one. Nice. Good job, Lobster. Yeah, we can send, them, uh, send someone up to grab that, too. Hopefully they don't get hunted while they're up here. Sorry, the raiders are attacking mechanoids or insects. New lovers. Bizey and Uncle Jay. When that steel barricade lights on fire, the mechs will actually get pulled temporarily. So we're going to stay in the walls, I guess. And just bang out this geothermal research. So this is done. I also want to go ahead. What do we have? We got some sandstone. Okay. Um, we'll put that... And then we got some slate left. Okay. Royalty should just be vanilla now. Full time ribbon is gonna be a split. Uh, I depends. I I might just do Winston this week as we as we started up, you know. So I'm having fun with it, so I am not hundred percent sure. See how I'm feeling around like three or four. Uh Ghost Nine, the other resub. Forgot that Prime doesn't resub. Yeah, it's really it's frustrating, but they, they'll they never do it, you know? But thank you, Ghost9. All right, let's get a name for the horse and let's get on the road. The next RimWorld pet in the queue is <laughs> Clucky the Horse. Uh, our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. All right, Clucky the Horse. Named by Ponscum. Okay, so we got uh, Noob, Clucky, Keep an eye on Noob. Winston's been entertaining to watch. It's so crazy. It's hard to believe that we're only on run four because things happen so frequently. It's like absolutely crazy. Winston waves week. Will we win? Kim Fuel. I'm keeping the Kim Fuel because I might have to use it to light the burn tunnel if we don't get any other option. Although, I, I guess I didn't need to keep all of it, but. Okay. Humane meat. Yeah, we are. We are cannibals this time. Um, Molotovs, I think. Is it? I think it's machining table. Is it machining? It's machining. Oh, here they friggin' come. Told you they would do that when that lit on fire. Machining, and then we would just need cloth and kin fuel. So if they don't have Molotovs there for sale, we can at least grab cloth. So 
super frequent raids are going to make Randy feel like Phoebe. That's what I'm thinking too, that after this, it'll be similar to after we did Igor. When I went from Igor to Randy, I was like, God, Randy just never attacks. That was a close one. Speed run PB. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know. I usually do, yeah. But we're okay right now. I'll probably actually make another uh, fire after bringing this in. And hopefully they rubber band. Right. Hopefully they rubber band. I can just throw it in the water, but not while all those guys are here. Uh, we'll do it on the stone over here. And we'll make the fire later. Right now I can't get out there for the uh, stuff anyway. So we're gonna clear all, we're gonna set to critical. We're gonna go with apparel. We're gonna turn on apparel, but turn off clean. Okay. We'll also go ahead and do bows. We don't even have guns this time. We've been kind of unlucky. We have an auto pistol. What killed the last playthrough? Um, which one was that? Oh, it was a double health breacher raid that killed run three. They have an EMP grenade. Okay, perfect. They don't have Molotov. Um, they have cloth. Okay. So we'll get the EMP grenade and some cloth. Let's get like 150. All right, what else do they got? Um, can't afford the Soothe Pulsar. Chain Shotgun, heavy SMG. Okay, we can get the Chain Shotgun. All right, so Noob now has EMP Grenade, Chain Shotgun, and Cloth for the Molotov. Um, we'll have to get to... Maybe I should just bang out machining before geothermal. Oh, crap. We have to get smithing and machining. Okay. Wait, wait. That's not supposed to, oh, the timer's there, never mind. <laughs> I misread the timer, <laughs> it's fine. I was like, wait a second, raids aren't supposed to happen. <laughs> but I was out doing the caravan stuff longer than I really thought about. All right, hopefully they just fight the centipede. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> beatings, beatings. I was like, what? Bearings? I was trying to think. Beatings, yes. Okay. Not sure who I hope wins here, honestly. <laughs> Wow, the Scyther didn't kill any of them? All right, well, that's about to change. Let's go on, Chandler. Solar cycle on our home planet. Chandler, are you an, are you an alien? A robot? A robot alien? Ha! 
How dare you, sir? I'm not liking this mod. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, so what I like about it is trying to figure out the puzzle of doing it on this 500% no pause, right? So it's been fun to like experiment and be like, all right, we've learned some stuff. Next time, this is what I'm going to do different. Uh, there's a lot of RNG with the rewards, of course. But in general, it's been a lot of fun. Pig is down. He has dropped his awful bow. The centipede almost at half health, though. Look at these tribals. The rain absolutely making the difference here. On this night of the 14th of April, Mary, in the year of our sky god, 5501. Q command is uh, no longer working. Steel would allow us to make some steel traps for some upcoming things. And also we're about to get to geothermal machining and whatnot. Um, and this would mean we don't have to go outside the base to grab steel. So I guess I'm going with steel. I actually got the centipede down below half, surprisingly. But yeah, Winston is not giving us very good rewards this run. Not at all. Not at all. Yep, yep. Summon really is necessary for better rewards. Yeah, the only downside is then you're closer to getting uh, bigger waves. Eight scavenger thrashers. What are thrashers? Eight pirates at 429 points. Hmm. If that's Sapper or Breacher, we're just, we're screwed. Where's that centipede? That <laughs> centipede's just chasing this guy. All right, uh, so that is done. We got some leftover blocks. We got some granite here we can use. Medicine. That's just, yeah, it's just un unlucky. See, so the very first run, we got uh, good rewards. So some of it's just going to be RNG, yeah. First run, yeah, we got colonists, thrombos. Um, we got some legendary weapons. Like, it was it was really nice. You know, I'm, I'm pushing the rewards, or the ways out as long as I can. Centipede, where are you going now? Okay, machining. Noob can't really enter the map with the centipede still up. So, noob, what is your... We are tribal. Yeah, he can live out there forever. In fact, we want to actually make him pass the tile. And then as he is leaving the tile, we want to have him rest. So now you can't get ambushed either. My plant fungus will cause their tunnelers and they don't like any other um, non-meat products. We got tunnelers. That centipede is acting really odd. <laughs> Uh, we have a, a guard out front. Um, we could just kite him around. Shack a treasure. No, can't leave right now.
Playing out that research. Hmm. Sensing the walls for weakness. He's creating his own weakened walls. <laughs> Best builder, if so, why is he researching primarily? Right now there's not really anything to uh there, there's no there's no primary research. There's nothing that's being built right now, so research is a four on everyone. So that if they don't have anything else to do, they can research. Giant carpenter media. <laughs> All right. Attack immediately. That's good. Does it train construction? It does. Yep. We'll go away eventually. Oh, it's about to go away. <laughs> uh, no, mechs will not leave the map. Mechs will continue to attack until they die. Unlike raiders, they never give up. Oh, an all melee. Yeah, that the centipede is dead. <laughs> Keeping out around for the next wave, that's one thing, yeah, and the other thing is it would kill us at the moment. Why aren't you forging? I'm not sure what's going on here. We only has a four on plants, but it's 23.9 berries per day. Oh, I have raw food turned off on them. I forgot I did that early game this time. There you go, noob. Sorry about that. No, we're all, yeah, yeah, no, we, we all thought about it right at the same time. Check if they allowed to eat, yeah. That was it, I turned it off early because they were eating raw rice. All right. I'd forage for berries, but Sky God won't let me eat them. Wow, of all places for them to attack. Next wave is a boss wave too. Leave the door alone, Kyle. I already, already got machining for the Molotov, yep. We already finished that part.
Apparently some punk kid that ran away from home and is going along with it because he doesn't know better. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be to stall some of the earlier waves to get researched and building done, yep. Yeah. I heard something break and I was really worried it was a stupid door. Been here a while. You know, door. I just don't know if we'll get it up in time behind them. Uh, I guess we have steel. Yeah, yeah, he's attacking the beside of it. It's not as scary as it looked. I need to finally do the Abbott roll, too. So after this, we bring in Noob, we do the Abbott roll for, um, mood and hopefully the boss raid is something that we can light on fire good grief alf yeah we need to get rid of the suppressor too yeah Guys, gotta almost be done. Hungry? They're only hungry. Boss modifier extra flammable. <laughs> Determines they give up. It usually seems either time or hunger based, yeah. Day 18 on only wave 9. <laughs> We're going out, Kyle. Try out the void storyteller. Uh, I don't know. We just started on uh, on this one, so we've been here a long time. They actually came. They killed the centipede. They went down and took out the mech cluster, and they are still here. They're at ravenously hungry now, though. I think they're gonna leave soon. until we're trying to stall for these two. Oh, we're almost back to our festivals. Same run as the beginning of the stream? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Just playing this one really slowly. Eat lunch and the second Thor movie. Yep, yeah, same one, same one. Hopefully I had a good time, JXC. Kyle, for God's sake. He's just exploring the maze. Uh, 
He's probably like gonna target some random friggin' fence in there. Bambi. Oh, they've been bleeding from the mini turret this whole time. All right, finally give it up. It'd be excellent to injure some of them to where they're moving more slowly. Or dead, you know, whatever. Outside hand handling. Noob. For God's sake. Crap. Leather, medicine, food. Medicine, I guess. All right. What do we have? Next wave is going to have orbital bombardment on the entire map during it. Crap. We haven't had that one before. It's tribal. Nine tribals. It was the edge of the map, so bringing them back. It's because they changed their zone. Their restricted zone. In that case, there's other causes as well. We might even want to leave the suppressor, honestly. How many uh, males do we have? No, we don't want to leave the suppressor. Those return there. They will not return there on their own. People will bring them there, but they won't return there on their own. gonna be uh, kind of crazy. So I'm gonna get that done in time. Uh, we have one day. All right. So how they make the machining table? Ray, can you stall that forever by leaving a scyther alive, injured, and kiting it? You could, yeah. Yeah. I was talking about yesterday. I was talking about things like that yesterday. That I'm not really to the point where I want to do that amount of cheese yet, but it, we can definitely uh, end up doing that eventually. Of course, you wouldn't want to do that with this orbital bombardment either way, but. <laughs> Doug, welcome in. Rasmus.
That's right. Uh, is there any Conan's nearby? It's not the closest ones. I mean, we're bringing like one back with us right now, but. Goose. <laughs> no, grenades my new friends. Yeah, that was kind of crazy yesterday. It's gonna be, I don't know. Waste some with your fists. You're gonna get some coffee. I don't care who drinks coffee as long as it's not me. <laughs> My wife drinks coffee every day. Imagine the smell. I don't have to. I smell it every day too. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, when they were just grenading the uh the breacher was just destroying the components, yeah. Yeah, it was a little annoying. Lovers. Okay. Make Molotov, do one time, shred mech, do forever. Okay. Um work. We're gonna turn construction off on everyone. Structure, fence. Okay. Let right open. Uh, do we have enough wood? Yeah, okay. Let's go out, get the wood in there. I don't even think we have the, yeah, that's what I was just thinking too. I don't even think we have the, uh, the roof built on it. I don't know that we can do that in that many hours. Molotov get finished. It did, okay. Bombardment. Let's, we could just die. Just, just flat out get killed by the orbital bombardment.
They're sappers. Multiple groups of sappers. I to make sure I'm reading. So one left. So the orbital bombardment is going to keep happening until that one is gone. Uh, where it? Where is it? <laughs> oh God, that one got up. <laughs> Or was always up. I'm not sure. I might have just missed it. Cash and riches. Legendary reward. 25,000 silver. 1,000 gold and 1,000 jade. Combat animal drops. Orbital beam targeter. We don't have time to train all the animals before the next raid. Orbital beam targeter. We can literally just beat the next raid with it. That doesn't do us any good, really. The silver. I think we just take this. I gotta tend to people. It doesn't pause during this. Crap. So that frees us up from the next raid, uh, raid basically. Okay. Okay, that's a lot, but I mean, the, even if we take it to the trade people, um, there's not enough there that we can buy. Via traders. We've already been to one, and they restock only every 30 days, so I I just took this. We can already go. They don't have five good armors. Like, we can take the human leather from this and go get what armor they have right now. But either way, uh, without it pausing in the background, I had to hurry up and make a decision. People were dying. <laughs> two, two, three, two, three. Just click at a hurry, man. Two, three. All right, where are we at? The next one is 10. Rivals. So Alf. Way down. Okay. Uncle J. So we need that door done. Then we can leave that open and just target them with someone. Oh, we're not gonna have trade ships for friggin' ever. Or to be able to call people in. So we would have to 
caravan out, and then trade, and then come back. Uh, and if a caravan's wealth is over, I mean, it would take us multiple, because if a caravan's wealth is over 20,000, it can get ambushed by more than one person. But... All right. All right. Um, we got one day. Is everyone fine? Okay. All right. So the beam is on Sandusky. I come to the next raid. It means there's going to be a flash storm throughout the entire raid. In tribals, okay. Food is okay. Man, we need a. Alright, the burn tunnel's up, so depending on what this is, we can just burn them and not even have to worry about the beacon yet and use it on something harder. Well, Jay still hasn't been tended to. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to industrial, just try to get through these faster. Okay. Harrowing assembly. Uh, we can't really make that very quickly. Low shields would be nice, but... Do if you had multiple colonies? Uh, it screws up, you know. It resets the waves if you have more colonies. Live page, all boss waves can be anything. We've absolutely gotten breachers and sappers outside of boss waves, yeah. Okay, we have 26 that left. Uh, we're almost ready for festivals again, which is really nice. Faction. Um, let's see. Actually, who has a mood increase? It is Sandusky. They have Iron Will. It's not really a mood increase, but... So is blood loss. Look at that. Okay, preach health. Let's go, Mel. Uh, yeah, wave eleven. You'll see to be able to run the mod. I'm not sure yet. I have them all, but what ending? Uh, we will eventually die, so there's not gonna be an ending. <laughs> It's just gonna keep getting harder. It gets up to like 25,000 plus raid points, which is two and a half times stronger than like Cassandra, for instance. Two and a half times bigger raids. So we will eventually just die, but we're trying to just survive as long as possible. Yeah, and then a 2x modifier, yeah. <laughs> Why not just have fun in RP? I'm literally having fun, so. Everyone's fun is different. OK, 
Okay, we'll grab that. Okay, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Six hours. Okay. It's fine. Um, we'll run those after this one. Five hours. Bring in as much as we can. All right, let's see. I gotta change the wall one as well. So we're gonna clear walls from here. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and clear. Well, no, we'll just, we'll just restrict restrict these again. Kind of fix these doors down here sometime too. So much to do between waves. We have so little time. We've not gotten any extensions. We just really need a friggin' extension. It's very interesting to watch. Thanks. All right. Hopefully during this we can uh bang out our geothermal, and we won't have to worry about power for ever. Basically on this one. Uh, they are attacking immediately. All right, here they come. Ten. Uh, screw it. We're just going to burn them. We don't have the second door, so we'll have to see if this gets to temperature or not. Alright, it's noob. Go ahead and grab that. Alright. Now, first burning. We'll see uh, how it works in this setup. Luckily, it's raining, so we have uh, foggy rain during the flash storm. So, flash storm doesn't even matter. Chasm's infection. They're good. Some reports that your fun is wrong. <laughs> Let's go, Johnny. <laughs> 500 degrees. Eventually, video games is a favorite pastime. <laughs> yeah, way before I even started streaming, yeah. What's the record? 24 so far. Yeah, none of that yet, York, yeah. All right. Targeters? Receive an orbital beam target or bombardment and a tornado generator. I can't see, I can't see spawning a tornado going wrong. Grenadiers. Uh, so the next one is probably a breach and look at that, another orbital bombard bombardment during that one. I can't see that going wrong at all. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Uh, thanks Wayne. All right, we got another Beam there. Right. We'll get this reset just in case the next raid is uh, not a breacher or a sapper. It looks like they're a breacher. Okay, we need to set a little shooting area up here as well. We have just crap for weapons right now. Man, we, we've not gotten very lucky with weapons at all, but uh, I need to send out another trader too, so Uncle Jay is going to finish chopping that. Um, I don't know that Noob can get there and back in a day. One has an EMP, yeah. So that one, don't have to worry about, but... Alright, temperature in here is... Almost good. 
Overconfidence to redeem so much that I had to nerf it. Yeah. You guys did it right after I got uh, hosted by, like, people that had never been here. And, uh, whatever his name, the ambiguous amphibian or whatever guy, hosted me for like 700 people. And then people used the overconfidence thing like 50 times overlapped. And it was, it was fun at first. I just kept going and going. And then people in the chat was like, I can't deal with this. I'm out. I was like, oh, freaking great. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I put a cooldown on it. All right, no construction. No fun allowed. Welcome. Christ, I used the wrong button again. Side of the internet. Yay. No fun. No fun allowed. <laughs> Yay! Hey, everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? Nice. Streamer, that's right. Obviously, I, I know what the buttons are. I just do it for comedic effect. Could you imagine if after having these set up for a year and using them so much, I couldn't remember which button was which? I can't, I can't even comprehend that being a thing that could happen. I can remember specific stats and things in the game. All kinds of crazy things. Why wouldn't I be able to memorize 12 buttons? Ridiculous. It's just for comedic effects. Hungry, cheesy, <laughs> about to snack. That's it. All right. Mule. I mean, wait, you're not even mule, you're noob. We don't have a, oh right, right, right. Uh these leader present? I don't have a leader yet. Do we have anyone else with decent mood? Uh, aesthetic is pretty easy to keep happy. Alright. You're gonna be our great leader. Congratulations. You're the least bad. Label maker for the buttons? No, because they switch. They, uh... They switch. So it has like different uh, buttons on the side that switch what each of the buttons do. And sometimes I just have it on the wrong setting. What a compliment. You can be the leader because you're slightly easier to keep. Why are you guys doing it this one? You're in the ritual closet. All right. Our leader has come out of the closet. go map or did you give up on that idea no i'm still going to do that um that's eventually going to be where our kill box is if we survive long enough to have a kill box right now we have other more important things but boring you will celebrate until you enjoy it oh god heat stroke Another boring one. Oh my god. 100%. 100% by the way. Expected outcome. 100%. I know that's not how it works, but it always feels bad. <laughs> Again. There we go. Shogo, welcome in. Stagger ugly, greedy and tough, and capable of violence. It looks like you're about to get kidnapped, my friend. Congratulations. If they don't get kidnapped, they can be a mule, yep. 
I wonder if I can get, I can't get them out in time. But if it comes to it, we're throwing them in the front and letting them get kidnapped. We're gonna have to see what this one is. Sacrifices work with Winston? No, but old habits die hard. They don't work with the waves, I should say. I don't, it seems like not anyway. Seven Grenadiers. If this is a breach raid, we're gonna have some, a really bad time. Really bad time. Can stand in body block. He'll see them body block seven grenade uh, grenadiers. <laughs> but yes, beyond if we survive this one, yeah. Welcome to your new home. Don't mind the oven racks. I mean, new bunk bed layout. Here we go. All right, it's where we uh we. We're, I was planning on moving that door. Thank you. And then I just never did. <sighs> Alright. Man, friggin' bombardment again, too. We need, like, three of those. Attack immediately. Thank goodness. Oh, there wasn't enough valid targets. They're gonna be attacking some walls. Some of them will. All right, as soon as this ends, we are sending Newly, is that biocoded? It's freaking biocoded. I was gonna pop out and take his gun, but <laughs> oh no, where'd that hit? Did you guys, hurry up! Thank you. Way to go, Berg. I'm doing it. I'm a raider. <laughs> yeah, the little shield's probably gonna, yeah, it'll, it'll burn. Orbital trader. <laughs> a pawn, all right. Next wave is ninjas, no. <laughs> can, can ninjas burn? Do we know if ninjas can burn? All right, let's take a look at them. Trosma. Trosma. You can fight, you can join the colony. Bloodlust, depressive. I would normally never take a depressed upon, but in this one, Bodies. Fuck Geo. All right. Um. Next one is. Yeah, we're gonna have to repair all this freaking crap. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, sixteen invisible tribals. All 
right, mule, take Clucky the horse here. Clucky the horse, that's right. And I think we have more than that. Just not cut up yet. Uh, no. No, we got those, okay. All right, mule and Clucky the horse. Take the human leather. And the silver. And just get out. Go. Go buy a gun or something. Can ninjas burn? It's <laughs> a good question. Godspeed, mule. Godspeed. Geothermal is done. Wow. Ock Geo. have like no friggin weapons this run Are we out of we have granite blocks I think they're already uh yeah someone's already getting them Go, naked mule, go! Okay. Then get out of here. Drop legendary Zeus hammers. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dan? Can you give a quick rundown of this run? You can do x -Nation Run, but it's a modded storyteller that is attacking us every single day with stronger and stronger waves, going all the way up to two and a half times the strong as a base game storyteller. Winston Waves. All right, uh, structure. Turn off construction. Goose is delivering the wood. Caravan's arrived. All right, what we got here, mule? What do we got? They have huskies. That's interesting. Okay, weapons. Um, we can get a chain shotgun. Okay. Guess that's what we will grab. See if we can run that back home before the next wave, at least. It's a mod. The Winston Waves is a mod, yeah. 450 trial? I, I guess so. 25,000 raid points. We were talking about what all they could drop with 25,000 raid points. To give you an idea, if we ever got to 25,000 raid points, they could drop a center drop in your base of 60 pirates who all have Doomsday rockets. 60 Doomsday Rockets could literally drop in your base. And boss waves can roll 2x raid points. So I guess you could have 120 Pirate Drop inside of your base with all of them having Doomsday Rockets. So, uh, yeah, it's it's impossible um, eventually, right? So we're seeing how long we can survive. It would be fun to watch, yeah. Uh, that reminds me, I need to get someone up here 
Who's our best at, um... At mining. Mining. Goose and Alf. Okay. Let's go, Alf. What are ninjas? The raiders are literally invisible. We can't attack them for the first little bit that they're on the map. The friendly fire, though? Yeah. We would all die, but so would all of they. <laughs> that would be insane to see. Crap. Imagine fog of war with ninjas. <laughs> I'm going to do a run with Fog of War, though. I think it'd be interesting. Red glare and the bombs bursting in the air. Yeah, that clip that I made recently uh, that I put up on YouTube and TikTok and everywhere of all those rockets in that uh, no kill box run would be nothing in comparison. All right, we're gonna have to finish that later. No, I forgot to cancel that. Uh oh. We have time. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to have time. Fences do not burn like wood does. not going to be back in time. Oh, you're freaking sick? Get out. We don't have time for sick here. I really do sound like a room world manager. Tagging immediately. Perfect. You guys want to see the ninjas? There they are. Look at them. Stealthy. Look at that camo. War merchant. That was a little bit close. Where? I can't see them. <laughs> it's going catwalk. Ninjas can't burn. I was getting just a little word. Excellent word. Eight research is done. Yes. Eight research is done. Next is reinforcements. So we're going to get attacked by 12 
pirates, and then six more pirates. Okay. What do we get done? Colored lights. Wow. Fire foam. Solar panel. Biofuel. Nutrient paste. Hmm. Wow. Well, that kind of sucks. Great reward. Uh, I mean, we do have colored lights now, though, so we've probably won the game. Alf, let's go. Time to build this. Who is our tradey traderson? It's... Oh, mule's back. Mule, bring the horse with you. For God's sake. Sleep through anything. This one's ours. Welcome in. Your phone is wrong. Oh man. All right, Alf. Did you get that done, Alf? Way to go, Alf. Way to go. Way to go. Come on, you'll get in here. Rolls one at a time as it could walk down the tech tree. Or if it can only do things that are met when it starts rolling. Uh, it looks like... So, it, you have to be able to get it, right? So, I don't think it'll keep going. But, I, yeah, I don't know. It, di it didn't do any, like, down the tree, right? It only did things that were already connected, but... Why the random wall? I want to try to force insects to spawn up there. So if you have overhead mountain, so here's the overhead mountain, the dark green color. If you have overhead mountain and you have a uh, player owned structure or furniture piece or something like that within 32 tiles, then it can spawn infestation if it's above negative 17 degrees Celsius. I know there's a lot of stuff there, but long story short, this single wall can make a full infestation spawn there. And if we got a full infestation there, that would stop so many raids against the storyteller. So we gotta hope for an infestation. Hope for an infestation. Uh, Artie, thank you for the host and the raid. Thank you, Artie, much appreciate it. Welcome in. Ugh. Why it's base option, does it give any kind of, no, it's just, it's just cosmetic, yeah. Just cosmetic. All right, we got two guns. Wow, look at us, moving up in the world. Power. Okay, uh, mule, let's see what they have to trade. Mule's in poor, poor health. I don't care, just dump some stuff. Okay, go again. I kinda wanna anger them on their way out. Man, um, that turns. major break on mule. Suck it up, mule. You can have a breakdown when you're dead, which won't be very long from now. Uh, they don't have anything else. All right, uh, I need to grab a few more of the components. Uh, Alf was one that can mine, so Alf, we're gonna unrestrict you again and get you down here. You can haul too, right? Yeah, okay. Go and jet. All those in. And we got some other ones here. 
Okay, so once we add this down and we don't have to worry about um, electricity anymore, I we're really close to getting turrets. I'm gonna set turrets up everywhere that we don't want sappers. So we can at least force sappers into an area that we control. Uh, after that, I need to set up a small kill area here so that when we eventually have mechs, we can we have a shot to actually kill them when they come through. Uh, and then if we survive that long, we need to go into making an actual kill box over the river um, and get more guns. We only have two guns right now, really. I mean, I don't consider the the uh, auto pistol that we have a gun, you know? <laughs> it's like a water gun, maybe. Only and always cosmetic. Um, I guess so. So I never really thought about it. Carpets add beauty. So they're not just cosmetic because they add additional beauty, but the different color colored lights don't add any additional beauty. God, I mean, it's geothermal. It's a Christmas miracle for sure. For real. Okay. Um, so turrets are coming next. We need to get the rest of those components. Bring them home, please. Thank you. Six hours. What does this one have? Reinforcements, right? Okay. Do ninjas burn? They do. Yes, they do. <laughs> Shelter for nobles. We don't have a room for them, so it doesn't matter. Amazing content. Learned a lot from the videos. That's awesome. Thank you, Artie. First run room world. Almost finished. Nice. That's awesome. Not a lot of people uh, launch the ship on their first playthrough, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, okay. Construction back off. Structure, get this back up just in case we can burn these because we absolutely will if we can. Goose, you're looking for something to do? There you go, buddy. Have fun. Ninjas are, in fact, not fireproof. to some good guns do you always have to have a kill box i i just finished the run before this 500 percent losing is fun no pause no cover no kill box so no you don't you don't have to have a kill box even on the hardest difficulty in the game but it does make things easier especially late game and against this storyteller i feel like yes we do have to have one but in um in general no you can make do even do a ship launch on the hardest difficulty with no cover and no, um, no kill box. And it, it is possible we know now because I did it. <laughs> it was the run right before this one, actually. Uh, right before the Winston waves started, I should say. The VODs are actually still up on you or uh, on here on Twitch if you want to check them out. How do you remove malaria and flu from the game? Is there any mod for that? There's a couple of things that you can do. So one, you can go into options, even during a playthrough, click on storyteller settings, go to custom, and you can go through here and you can set whatever you want in here. Um, so you can turn off like food poisoning, infection, um, you know, all, all kinds of crap in here. 
The other thing that you can do to turn off certain things is when you choose a scenario, you can click on edit scenario and in there there's a button that you can, yeah, disease frequency, uh, you can change in there. But in the scenario, you can also turn off certain events if you want completely uh, or turn on more events. So both of those two things you can do without mods. And again, you can even do it during your playthrough. Go to options, storyteller settings, custom. You can change all this stuff, whatever you want. Um, and it'll take effect immediately. So you don't have to start a new game if you already have one going. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. Feel free to ask whatever you want about room world as long as I'm not uh, about to die. <laughs> I'll try to answer. Tag it immediately. Oh, thank God. Thank the sky gods of RimWorld. All right, where are they coming from? We need to go now. Let me start storing this up there. You can even, uh, yeah, you can go in and edit your scenario files even during if you want, but. And of course there are mods for all those things too. Learning. Thank you, Trogdor. The only downside with killing most of these raiders this way. Oh, right. I meant to hold that open for a reason. Christ. I didn't leave targets. It'll be okay, but... Past Adam left that open for a reason. What guns do these guys have? When they start running, the SMG one might be far enough for us to pop out and get it. We'll see. You know what would be awesome right now is um, water skip, actually. Because once these guys burn and fall, we just put out the fire and then grab whatever we wanted. I could actually just remove some... Oh, right, they have reinforcements. Yeah, that one's bio-coded. That one's not. Mini turret drop. Okay. Oh, they can be different kinds too. Plasteel, steel, and uranium mini turret. No, I actually saved people's lives with water skip. I actually like water skip overall. Um, in several of my runs, I've, I've saved people's lives with water skip. Someone gets hit with a flame centipede set on fire, just water skip them, done. The great thing about water skip too is it doesn't just put out fire, it prevents fire in that wet area for a little while. A bit of fire in my base? It's alright, I set it on fire. Chunk skip, no. <laughs> it's gonna burn long enough. Oh, the other, there was three drops of, uh, of reinforcements. Yeah, it's going to be hot enough for long enough. Yeah, yeah, you can deconstruct a wall or roof and the heat will go away almost instantly. Yeah. So I could come back out here and, and do that. Well, it'll go away almost instantly if the fire's out, but... Let's see what's in this oven. Yeah, there's our old friend, Tui. They are burning. Uh, their corpse is there. It's, they're on fire. Alco is burning to death. Let's keep marching forward. Yeah, 20 Neutramine. Wave 15. Okay. This is fine. <laughs> I 
Paige, I want your gear. I think we have a bloodlust pawn now too, so even if uh Yes. Strip. Nice. Uh, Sandusky, put on that excellent gear. Way to go. Way to go. Uh, Mule, look, we have a trade hat for you, too. What do you know? What do you know? Okay. It's a mod that incorporates machine learning for radio. I don't know. I've never heard of one of those. If you, uh, if you find out, let me know. That'd be pretty interesting. Yeah, I could... Uh, don't we have a bloodlust? We did get one, right? Yeah, and they're the depressive one also. Alright, let's go... Hawk Geo. Oh, yeah, look at that. Get that bloodlust going. Oh, we're actually gonna get a chain shotgun out of this too, I think. Burning passion for my work. Just loving it. So happy right now. Can't wait till this guy dies. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh my god. Two chain shotguns out of that. That's gonna be excellent. The temperature is still a little too high. Hopefully it's not enough to combust anymore. Uh, unfortunately the marine armor one burned. Next raid, 22 tribals with Meteor Storm Deering. Oh yeah, I remember, yeah. We had uh, a raid I thought was gonna act normally on one of the playthroughs that ended the run because they had some people split off and act as sappers, even though it wasn't a sapper raid. It was really uh, kind of interesting in a terrible sort of way. Still too hot. The deserter. Four days. We're gonna leave that there for a moment. How long until the Empire actually attacks it? Oh, I gotta be careful. On the raiders? Yeah, in rare cases it can drop on us too, yeah. Cool enough yet? Same day you accept the deserter? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Like eight hours or something, but I'm kind of worried about angering the Empire in this one with how the waves go, because we can't easily re-ally them, you know? Gotta do it in a normal playthrough. Looking uh, better. I wouldn't say good, but better. We really need to make some more blocks sometime soon. Uh, we need to get these up. So, do we have some steel? We do. So, I need to put one in this room, one in this one. We put one here.
then we can also move them when we see what kind of raids they are. Fireball next to the skull indicate. Uh, it means that there's going to be meteors falling the entire time the next wave is on the map. So niche. I haven't done it this time because um, I probably should. But the main reason I hadn't worried about it is if this gets so hot that them being stacked doesn't matter because they are dying from the heat. But yeah, I probably um, I probably should do it once I get this little kill area set up free resources. Uh, deadly, deadly resources. Nine hours. All right. How much steel do we have? 609, okay. Okay. Fence missing. I know, yeah. Um, I, di I didn't feel like it's 100% needed in that. Like, it should still slow them down enough. In fact, I need to uh, go ahead and start working on that, too. Oh, you meant this fence? Yeah. I thought you were meaning the slow fence. Yeah, the slow one I'm not too worried about because they it's mostly slowed, but we need to get this now up before they get here. Uh, the festivals are, yeah, they're ideology. Yep. In fact, that's one of the things we need to do right at the end of this is uh, do their other three festivals if we survive this. I mean, when we survive this. Side for Jackers on the eastern side. Being a burned wasteland, yeah. That is true. All right, here we go. Let's just... Sappers. Twenty-two sappers, all melee. Sappers, sappers dig through your walls. So they won't come through the area that we've set up to uh, to intercept them. Overkill, but we have two other ones. 
<laughs> Leather, fuel, normal weapons. A, a little overkill. We have we have one other one of those, and then we have one other orbital thing. This could be good. It could be normal like rifles and stuff. Or it could be crap. Ooh, a minigun. Another Meteor Storm one, and this one is 17 Pirates. LMG. LMG. Okay. Best weapon. Worst. Worst. Do we have anyone that's a uh, jogger? We do. King Loser is a jogger. All right. King Loser, who has the good bolt action. Drop that. Friggin' flying here. I haven't seen a flying house forever. Sorry, the north wall only has one layer. I just haven't, uh, I haven't gotten to it yet. So, on Lick, welcome in. Yeah, it's gone down a bit from, from earlier. <laughs> uh, Bionic Eye from best to worst shooter first. That's usually what I do, yeah. I guess you could do it on your, your weakest first. Either way, it works pretty well. It depends on if you're already hitting the cap for accuracy, I suppose. There's one of those IRL raids, yeah. Okay, um, so that side's cover, that one. Okay. We'll go. Discord. Well, I think she has subscribed. Stupid bot. Story tire. Some time. Looks like fun. Any tips? Uh, I'm still learning it. This is only our fourth uh, try at it, but. Uh, oh, I forgot. I had the horse selected still. There we go. There we go. All right. Pray that the rewards are more pawns or extensions, basically. And building is super important. You're gonna have so little time. I mean, if you're playing with other mods and stuff too, it might make it a little bit um, more forgiving, but I I don't know yet. I haven't uh, haven't completely figured it out. But building and having everyone be able to construct in the beginning, taking like as many bodies as you can possibly get, super important. Okay, brought those in. Let's get those cut. Oh, don't wait, nine. Not dead yet. Um, I'll be right back. Don't let me die, speaking of.
Man, I wish that infestation would hit. Wish we could get a quest for infestation. That'd be nice. Almost that 100th wave? No, uh, not quite. <laughs> I only wave 16 on this attempt. I have one grenadier. Okay. Leave a chair alone. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and do one of these. Street Fighter 2 shirt. That's right. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Just play fighting games all the time. Heat wave. I mean, we did research air conditioning, so at least it waited for that. Run 4x speed only? No. 4x speed isn't even actually 4x speed. It's more like 10x speed. Each one actually goes up, not just one speed at a time, but... Tornado starting up? No. <laughs> Marriage is on. Rim War is only a one-way compatibility. Able to play with Winston Waves, but Waves spawns their enemies. That is weird, yeah. Strapping. Trigger happy hard worker right this way, sir. Right this way. I have a minigun for you. Yeah, it, it's always in there. I'm actually thinking about using it for some uh, kill box stuff. Got no bed. Bed. He can have a bed, but gun first. Yeah. Gun first. Not good enough. Do it again. Needs to be excellent or better. on stream uh yes yeah i played it quite a bit in early access uh, i haven't played it in quite a while it's actually come up a couple times today but uh, i played it for i don't know four or five hundred hours on stream a, a couple of years ago but it's changed a lot since last time i played it are these tribal they are okay Oh god, we killed him. Uh, who is the bloodlust person? Hey mule, we got you a cowboy hat. Give our brains guns.
got seven hours. Um, yeah, let's do another one. It's just flexing using a silver club. Oh, I just shut that door. Whoops. Actually, I need it back open when the raid gets the need targets. It's in your size 85, so they're not getting heat stroke. It's still when they're all inside, they shouldn't get anything beyond minor. But I need to leave it open or else we won't have targets for the enemies. And they'll start being on the wall, depending on what kind of raid it is. So if it's close to the raid, I gotta leave it open still. Uh, let's see. Elf. Alright, let's see what kind of raid we got going this time. Ah, uh, Swedish Hound. They were the eight months. Thank you, Swedish. My pleasure. Glad you are enjoying it still. need to get that over there done, but when? When am I going to do that? I have due for right now. It's possible to cook a 17 pound turkey in a crock pot. Does it fit in the crock pot? As long as it fits, I, I'm guessing you could you'd be fine doing it. I shoved like a 12 pound ham into a um, an instant pot. But yeah, as long as uh, as long as it is able to fit, it should be good. I think. Kind of fits. Uh, into my belly. <laughs> yeah, as long as it fits. Cooking stream win. People have asked me to do that for a long time. Actually. Tag immediately. Excellent. Friggin' meteors. Oh, I thought that was gonna hit the base. Ah, oh, those friggin' suck, man. They could, it could break a entering for these guys. I should probably pull everyone just in case. Man, that would suck. Imagine the meteor hitting there. Let's spread out. <laughs> yeah, they hit the side of the oven, let them out. Hit the side of the base, let them in. Here's a cooking stream for you. Let's go, Cookie Monster. Come on, guys. Burn already. Hopefully get a really good reward. Like legendary weapons or four more pawns. A delay. And one of them, we had a seven-day delay. We could get so much done in seven days. Yeah, I didn't have like a full release or big update or something. Legendary level pawns, yeah. Component, plasteel, or cash. 3,000 silver. 
We can take that and send out Mule. That's not obviously over 20,000 wealth. 20 components, 5 advanced components. Well, let's just take the silver this time and send them out. You know, we can buy some components while we're out, but we might can actually finally go get some good helmets. Let's finish down. Next raid, 34 tribals. They don't have a modifier this time, though. Finally. Alright, Mule. Mule. And Clucky the horse. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's not in a zone yet. There we go. Alright, get. Scale off of wealth, or is that wave base 2? Uh, they don't seem to scale, scale off wealth, no. It seems to have, or I mean, it seems to have the same scaling as a normal game, uh, the ambushes, yeah. On caravans. Oh, a good assault rifle. Nice. Mule is on the road. Should have a pity system for the rewards. Yeah, that would be really, really, really nice. Natalia. Let's go, Natalia. 36, hard worker, gourmand. Looks like you're going to be on the front lines. Cable of dumb labor. I'm sorry, whoever gets this name. I normally wouldn't take you, but I'm... Choyos! <laughs> Nartha! I'm sorry, Nartha. You've been waiting on a new name for so long. Well, I, I got some good news for you. You're going to have an excellent bed. So... Congratulations. You're, in fact, incapable of dumb labor. <laughs> You're a Gormon that's not even good at cooking. You know how rare that is? It's the worst kind of rare. I guess you're going to be a shooting specialist. A Gormon shooting specialist. Wow, how terrible. You don't even have enough to get to be a shooting specialist yet. You need two more points. You're gonna be on the front lines, Narth. You're used to that at least. Okay, um, we have got to get some more of this done now that we got those blocks. Yeah, I, I've been waiting for it to cool down. It's still 140 in there. But, uh, yeah, I will let them, uh, I'll let them get it after. It's actually gonna grab it on, uh, who was it? Uncle Jay. Well, I can shut the door now, too. It's rarely. It's still 120. That'll be alright. You'll be fine, Uncle Jay. Don't worry about it. It's a comfortable sauna. <laughs> yeah, if we actually get the uh, Thromo reward, we'll have someone that can tame them. Can train them. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, so we're on our way to microelectronics, which will be very, very handy. We're going to probably need to be growing more mushrooms soon, so we'll probably segment this off for some more mushrooms. We definitely need to keep things segmented for drops. Uh, but I need that turret to reach, so we're going to have to put, like, a gap here. It's going to be kind of weird. Maybe... Uh, we can we can fit some in there, but again, the turret needs to be able to cover. I guess I'll just combine it with here. tunnelers, so. Alright, I need you to start thinking about a real kill area, and we need to set the burn up. It's actually probably the most important right now. So let's go ahead and uh, turn off construction. Who's nearby? Goose. What to build first in your new world? I don't actually. I've uh, I have a list of things that I'd like to make guides off of or about, and uh, one of the things that I've had on there there for a long time are things like that for stages of the game. But not not really. Um, I mean, the very first thing I do when I land is I immediately queue up some uh, rich soil rice. If I have rich soil, I try to settle near rich soil on the map. Not I just queue up rice. Uh, I queue up to cut some stuff, and I make an initial barracks and trap tunnel. So those are the three very basic things, is food immediately, and then shelter and some traps. Um, but as far as, like, an actual more detailed kind of thought process, um, I don't have anything like that, but I do have on the list someday to do a stages of the game sort of thing. What is the wood room for? I'm glad you asked. Hopefully you'll be able to see in just a second. Uh, it's our giant oven. Want the burn zone? Cook us too. I left that off. I don't know if it's going to be enough. We might should leave a little bit more just in case. We'll leave a little more off just, just in case. But it's so open. I don't think it should. We'll see. Boy, I've done that before. Try to find out. <laughs> This might end up being a um, sapper or something anyway. Hopefully not, but... Tag it immediately. Alright, you'll get to see what this room is for. Crap, I needed to open uh, one of these doors. For targets. Get out. Schedule. In the walls. Also need to put that second door back there. I keep forgetting. Narth, would you like to participate in a barbecue? We'll, we'll see what they have in a minute. Okay. Here's what this uh, wooden room is for.
boy, a barbecue. Yeah, I didn't have enough targets, so they were attacking other stuff, but we'll be okay. sucks. Alright, Mule, looks like you are headed to the other trade site. So yeah, that, that's what it's for. What's it up? Human meat in this colony? Yes. Yeah, we are cannibals. 500 wood, 500 steel, 30 components. I guess that's what we take. Not what we wanted, but. Oh, right. <laughs> the reward spot. Right. Excuse me, Billa? What the crap? Day 18, what's it gonna be? Uh, all the enemies will have snipers. 22 snipers, okay. I have not got any delays this time. Nope, not a single one. Kind of frustrating. No delays this time. They breach snipers again, maybe. Yeah. Can horde or lion story? It's really swell. Yeah, I can tell that in just a just a little bit. There's a goat. Long range mining picks. Yeah, we'll see if that's back again. The mining rifles. Okay. So we need to get this done and we almost have enough guns to make it really worthwhile. Let me get the burn set back up and this to cool down. Mules on their way. Okay, this is not going to um, uh, go bad any longer, unfortunately. So I can burn those. The campfire. Or I can start throwing them out here. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I really need to get the kill area set up. And then we're gonna have to do a different burn on the other side of the, this. Using for fuel, we did that in one run, that eagle run, yeah. I could do that on here again. They don't seem to burn as well as a single uh, piece of wood, but probably because they're usually tattered, low HP. So, microelectronics will help quite a bit. I'm trying to think. It's our most important thing to survive the next stuff, aside from getting more people. I think it's getting an actual kill area set up. The downside to this river one like this is I'm not going to have a good EMP spot for the mechs. Because I can't really. I mean, I could make a wood room down there, it's pretty dangerous. It's gonna be dangerous either way, though. Oh god, yeah, the artificial grape, the rat hairball clump, ugh. 
Feral chicken. That's a pretty long one. I usually tell that a few times a year, yeah. All right. So you want to hear the the little wow story? I'll tell you. If you're still there, let me know. <sighs> yeah, let's get started on it. I guess. I don't know. I'm actually thinking about doing more of the second door. Yeah, here. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about doing more of the um, kiting around the base thing. All right, the little wow story. So, a long time ago, uh, my wife and I, we played a lot of wow. I think we stopped uh, after Miss Pandaria towards the end of it. But anyway, um, I led a raiding guild and I was a main tank of a raiding guild. And then one year, one of the people from our, our guild who's been in there forever that we met through WoW, uh, he, we were on Ventrilo and he was like, hey, do you and uh, your wife want to go to BlizzCon this year? I was like, it's like we can't afford to go to BlizzCon. Like, uh, I was like, yeah, probably not. We That's way too expensive for, for just a few days or whatever. And he's like, no, 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 you don't understand. Do you want to go to BlizzCon? I will pay for everything. You just have to get there. And we lived in Tucson, Arizona. So it was about a six and a half hour drive. It was like, I will literally pay for everything. I'll I'll pay for the tickets. I'll order them right now. Or whenever they came live or whatever. Um, hotel, all that kind of stuff. That's it. And we're like, all right, awesome. I guess we could do that. And so, so we did it. So we go to BlizzCon. And uh, we get there, I think, Wednesday night or something like that. And uh, Thursday morning is when you pick up your badges. So Thursday, pick up the badges. Friday is when the event actually starts and you go in. So we get up early on Thursday morning and we're going to walk over to the IHOP near the convention center to eat breakfast. And we get up, uh, like I said, pretty early and we go out and there's already a, a, a group, probably like seven or eight people that are sitting in front of the convention center in kind of a little circle, right? They're already there. It's like 6 a.m. And again, this isn't the day of going in. This is the day that you just get your badges. You have all day to get your badges, right? And so we see them there, and we are walking by, and we're like, oh, are you guys, uh, are you, are you guys already camped out waiting for the badges? Like, in a nice way, just asking, you know, hey, you guys here for the badges for BlizzCon or whatever? Being nice. And this one turns to me and looks you right in the, the eyes, and, he, and they're like, Horde or Alliance? And I'm like, what? And he looks at me again, he goes, Horde or Alliance? Like, really seriously. And I'm like, are you asking me what I mainly play? And I was like, well, I'm in, I mainly play Alliance. I'm in Alliance raid. And before I could finish the sentence, this guy turns from me, sits back down, and the rest of the group look away from us and they will literally not speak to us. And I was like, is this real life? Like, is this a thing that's really happening? Are these real people? And so this group of people, uh, because they picked, they clicked a red button, which also, I, I also rated on the Horde side, but the guild I led was on Alliance. Because they picked a red button instead of a blue button, like eight years before then, they literally wouldn't even talk to other people at the convention who were there to have fun and enjoy the same group of games that they were. I could, I will never forget that though. And they were like dead serious. They would not speak to us. And I was like, I just kind of laughed. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe, holy Christ. And then we went and laughed and we ate at IHOP, <laughs> my wife and I. Gatekeeper, it's so crazy. So stupid. I've never run into anything like that. Super tribal. Real life fight because your alliance. It's so dumb. So dumb. It's a great story. Yeah, no problem. The BlizzCon went pretty awesome, though. I, uh, uh, those of you, I don't know if he still does WoW stuff anymore, but that was back when, like, Swifty was in his, in his prime. And I met him and talked to him about warrior stuff. 
Uh, I got to, it was the very first year that the GSL or the global championship for StarCraft II had the giant stage, uh, an arena all for itself. And the stage had like, um, I don't know if it was projected or what, but the entire stage would like transform based on um, the races of the people that were playing. So I got to see like MMA there play, those of you that know StarCraft II. And uh, when it was like Terran versus Zerg, like this side would get all like technical and stuff and turn into like Terran stuff. And the other one, you would see creep growing over the whole like um, auditorium or whatever. It's really cool. Which year was it? It was, um, I want to say it was 1415 or it was the year that um, Heroes of the Storm was announced at BlizzCon. And we went the next year as well. And that was the year that Overwatch was announced. So we went the year that, that Here's the Storm was announced, and then the year that Overwatch. I might have those ones backwards, but yeah. The preferred species from the Halo days. It's so silly. It's on the Lions, he just hit you in the face. That's absolutely insane. I can't even I can't even believe that people can have that sort of mindset. It's 214, so it was maybe 2014, 2015, something like that. Or maybe it was 2013, 2014. But yeah, we went two times. It was just so bizarre, man. Weird side you've ever been part of in your life. It can be a fun thing, but these people will take it into real life and it was just absolutely crazy. It's so dumb. Red versus blue button. Serious business. All right. So there it is. There's a little story. It's just so bizarre. And I, I mean, I don't want to stereotype anyone, but I could already tell which faction they played <laughs> by seeing them standing and sitting there. What do you mean by that? Just trust me. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put the the wood back in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did we lose any of the walls during those explosions? <laughs> At Blizz Kanye. Yeah. I don't see how All Out is literally not talking to another human being when they're being nice to you. Ugh. All play from it's 14 now, which is not a faction based game. There's leftovers in the oven. We could go grab them, man. Unofficial Australian and gay server, really. Proudmore. Does it make sense why they would choose there? Well groomed and pleasant. I didn't say all people. I, I started on Horde and I raided on Horde too. I actually raided on Horde before. And I also told the WoW story of why I stopped raiding on on Horde. So I can tell that one uh, really quick as well since it, it it's that one segues into this one. Watched in Transduce playthrough and you definitely don't cook with the doors open. Um, I would have to rewatch how much fire was in there and how big the tunnel was. So there's a lot of factors to it. But yeah, not that I know of. All right. So another story, another wild story. This one is even crazier. Okay. So when my wife and I started playing WoW, we just played it together as like a co-op game, just the two of us. And eventually, though, we tried out dungeons and raiding and we liked it. And we joined a raiding guild on this Horde server. Uh, Area 52, right? It was when Area 52 was brand new before everyone went there, really. Free transfers off your current realm to Area 52 when it came out with Burning Crusade. So my wife and I go there. My wife plays a hunter and I play a, uh, a healer. In fact, I went with a paladin that time so I could heal and tank and respec and all that kind of stuff. So paladin for me and the guild wanted me to heal. The name of the guild was actually Dust. I still remember the name of the guild, Dust. So, anyway. Let's go ahead and take these. Unless they have helmets. 
So I'm the main healer for the guilds, and my wife is one of the best DPSs for the guilds. Now, those of you that have hung out for a long time, you know that my wife has panic disorder and extreme anxiety and stuff like that. And that was the case back then, even uh, even more so, even more so back then. This is before she even was on anything to even try to help, right? So she enjoyed playing the game, but she would not, she did not want to speak with anyone because it gave her anxiety. So, so she would not speak on Ventrilo or anything like that. She would listen and she would follow the directions and do what she was supposed to do. Right. So one day the guild leader during the raid tells my wife that she is going to need to respond. And I tell him she can't do that. She would rather not raid. She's not going to do that. She doesn't even have a microphone for it. And they're like, no, she has to do it. She has to say it. And I was like, well, then we aren't going to friggin' raid. No, she doesn't. You don't tell her what to do. And then he's like, you know what I think? I don't think you have a wife. And for a split second, I was like, wait, hang on, what? And he's like, I don't think you have a wife. And I was like, I don't think, he was like, I don't think she's real. I was like, what are you talking about? You don't think she's real? And he goes, if she's real, have her say something now. I was like, she isn't gonna say anything because she has panic disorder and anxiety. She's not gonna talk. And he's like, yeah, that's, that's BS. She isn't real. And then he goes, and I'm like, all right, I'm done with this. And so we leave the guild. We leave that and go join this more friendly guild called the Dark Tide, which is, they're back in Karazhan still, but it's fun. They're all nice and we hang out, right? I thought it was that. I was like, this guy's friggin' insane. Screw these guys. And then I get some messages, some whispers in game about going and checking the forums that there was a post about me. And I'm like, what is going on? So I go and it's that guild leader and he has made a forum post that is like five paragraphs long telling everyone not to play with me that I am uh, dual boxing and lying about, I'm making up that I have a significant other and that I'm dual boxing and all this stuff. And I'm like, what is going on? Like this guy's out of his friggin' mind. But then what's even weirder about it, what's even weirder about it is I was one of the top healers on the server at that stage. I was the main healer. And my wife was like second or third top DPS in these 25 man raids. If, if I had someone in my guild that was dual boxing and they were somehow good enough to be the best main healer in the guild and pull another character along, stay out of crap on the ground and still get second or third DPS, I would, I would be absolutely happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. Dual box all you want. But it was just such a friggin' bizarre thing. It was like I couldn't even comprehend when, it, when he was first saying it. He's like, simultaneous best healer and one of the best DPS. Dual boxing because you won't have your wife talk to me on Ventrilo. It's like, what the friggin' crap? So anyway, that is why we eventually left that server and stopped playing on, on Horde. We're like, all right, we need to separate ourselves from this because it's just friggin' annoying having people, these trolls whispering us about it, me and my wife and harassing us or whatever. And so that's why I stopped playing and went to a different server and start a different guild. So there you go. There's the double wow story that I haven't told in a long time. It's like grade school bullying. It was just so bizarre. To quit a game of racism after getting doxxed. Alleged wife. <laughs> Playing multiple characters at a time. Yeah, that's what dual boxing is. Oh yeah, there, there's people like that on any faction, but that's the initial thing where we left the server and our current characters and the faction. That's what the catalyst that started that. I'm not saying it was because they were on Horde or anything like that, but it's just a really weird person. That was my alleged daughter. <laughs> Quad box EverQuest, solo raid bosses. All right, let's see what kind of raid this is. And hopefully we survive and then we can uh, maybe get an actual good reward. Mule did not make it back. <laughs> Solo after level 15 because of the game mechanics. Yeah. People who take out billboards. 
uncovered assets to advertise their ERP guild summer events. This little dude named Connor Retz. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen talking about that before. Story about you and the say <laughs> pretty suspicious. It was just really odd. It's one of the weirdest things. Thanks again. Relate to the second story. Something similar happened to you and your dad. He spoke and got named the voice of God and <laughs> no one bothered him since. Attacking immediately. We're getting lucky with that at least. Oh, listen to all that go juice getting, getting sucked down. I think I heard some yayo snorting there. But yeah, there's the two main WoW stories. I got lots of stories, but those ones are the two that made me like, <laughs> just like, I don't even know. Uh, I still can't comprehend either of those two things that happen, like how people could be that way. No, I didn't hear about the billboard thing, no. Ah, hysteric. Thank you for Sunday story time. It's still Saturday, right? How long have I been playing? Uh, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Sunny for you, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get into any, uh, you know, religious debate on either side of that. How would they? Yeah, I don't know. Like, and we were in different spots in the raid. It was just all bizarre. I think he just wanted my wife to talk to him. I think he was a freaking weirdo. Taking care of my daughter and modding my chat. <laughs> you thought the crackling was the noodle. Delay next wave for 15 days? What? Fifteen? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fifteen days. I can do stuff. Steadfast loyalty is greatly hey. appreciated. I was telling them the story about that stupid uh, WoW guild that thinks you don't exist. I don't exist. Look, here's two hands. There's the, th there's my third hand, for my alleged wife. I'm also a ventriloquist. Eh. Wait, I mean that didn't tickle. I can't. You can't tickle yourself. <laughs> uh, my wife just got this in the, in the, mail. Look at that. Jurassic Park meets The Nightmare Before Christmas. My wife's two favorite movies. Who does she doesn't exist. So they're my favorite movies. Three Armed Freak. CGI. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with 15 days. The Nightmare of Jurassic Park. What do I even do in 15 days? First off, I friggin' set up a research. We get microelectronics going. Um, we can actually do water mills here too. Mortars, mortars, mortars. Okay, we can get the kill box set up now. Um, and we can actually just like unrestrict for a bit. I cannot believe that's one of the rewards. 15 days. Yes, that's what I chose. Okay. So we can incorporate the river now. Go on the offense, yeah. Where's your base, Winston Waves? Where's your base? Uh, all right. Normal raid events. They do have normal events, but not normal raids. Um, we have enough uranium to set this up like this. I didn't know that was possible. 15. Poor right, day three. No, 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 no. 
Use the summon early button. <laughs> Imagine if I accidentally hit that. Bulletproof. 50% more armor. Why if he was a loser? I'm gonna make you have to be a liar. He, I think he just wanted to talk to a female. There's no ancient danger on the map, but I could go um, that we found anyway. I could check if this is one. In fact, do we have someone that's melee right now? Uh, Narth, would, would you grab a piece of wood, please? All right. There's no ancient danger in there. What about here? No. 325 map, no ancient danger. That's pretty rare. That sucks. If anyone's wondering what that is that I'm doing with the stick, uh, Exclamation Mountain will tell you about that trick. can tell where um, openings are in mountains because it's mountains are actually fog of war so they can it be uh, they can have openings to them okay Wow, that's gonna be back up in time too. Crazy. Um, so I want to get this sorted. How much more uranium do we have? We actually do have a, a bit more. get ahead of the curve during this. Streams learn what to fix. They absolutely did that at least once. We know. We know for sure that that happens. Looting Studios. Oh yeah, that's because her hands were full of a uh, <clears throat> sweatshirt. That's enough to air that out. I 
Yeah, it looks like it's enough. Is it a custom Etsy thing? Uh, it was from a site called T-Fury. T-Fury. It's where I get uh, uh, some of my t-shirts. T-Fury. I have uh, two t-shirts on sale every day. And she grabbed that when it was on sale. Heard they went through a rough patch not too long ago. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about the the company or any anything at all like that. I just know that I check it every now and then, or I get an email or something. That's it. I get an email from them, and uh, they they just it's an automated email where they send me whatever the sell is on that day, the two shirts. And I haven't gotten one in a long time, but <laughs> yeah, this is a new hoodie. <laughs> Anime shirts? Probably, yeah. No, they definitely do, yeah. Not every day. Well, I mean, they do, but their normal prices are kind of expensive for a shirt, but... Time bonus was to get a Narth Pawn. That's right. Thanks, Narth. Much appreciated. You mind Dynamo? Uh, I don't think so. Three man and cougars now. Been well on your way? Not today. Not today. An automated thing. I don't know. I don't know how it would have happened. So, an Ashen? Good to see you. It's been a little bit. Well, you've been all right. still be able to do it there, right? So we're about to find out. Okay. Just go for broke or to reach a certain day wave. Um, Yeah, just to get as far as we can. I would like to get to 50. I don't know if that's possible. I've never played Mount and Blade. Nope. A lot of people have asked, though. Maybe the like very edge or something. What day is this? 
32. Wow, it feels so much longer. It's actually crazy. That's only 32. Feels so so much longer. Console saw on a PS4 store. Yep, yep. Yeah, it was announced a little bit back. A lot back. Until you can be a thrumbo. <laughs> uh, we can actually get Mule over to one of the other further away trade areas. Um, we got microelectronics down. Um, I wonder how much O Red Mountain that is. Hopefully, there's not a lot there. Might extend this side of the base. Oh, uh, same team as Cardiel. That's kind of nuts. Oh, you got him as well. I didn't see that. Wednesday story stream game going on right now. Yes, it's Dragon's Dogma. And the first episode is also up on YouTube. So there's the link uh, to the YouTube. So if you go over there, um, there's actually a new Igor episode that came out today too. But the second newest video up on the YouTube uh, channel. Dragon's Dogma. Dead. Friggin' links. I should have seen where he was faster, but uh, that's how it goes on no pause sometimes. And there's no adaption in this, so. sure does have a tendency to die. I think it was Friendly Fire that got the last... No, it wasn't. <laughs> back to his home in space. Although we might. Hang on. I don't think we can research it in time. No, we absolutely can't, so it doesn't matter. In your party, we got things to do. Reason. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about, but I don't know. He is one of the first ones, too, huh?
Oh, I need to make it uh, too wide, my bad. Uh, let's see. Chasm, let's go. Ponds of Iris. Guys, they're a party. <laughs> so in Sandusky? It is you, yeah. So I clicked on chat. The devil is summoned. 7D is summon the devil. What would the devil say during a time like this? Did you already do a quote? Oh, there it is. Anyone over here have names? Do you like these nuts? Is that like the devil's version of... How you like them apples? <laughs> Got him. I think, I think that is... Uh, Guardio is summoning Granny. Granny, what would you say at this funeral? At the funeral of Alf, what would you say? I cause mental damage. <laughs> True. True. What was the new quote? I missed it. Hurry up for Alf Rots. Friggin' Lynx. Friggin' Lynx. Wrong one! Bury him in the right place. There you go, Alf. Sorry about that. Mech cluster. Sun blocker? No! Why aren't we darkness? <laughs> Why aren't we fluid? No! <laughs> it doesn't matter for us too much. Uh, to get rid of right away on this run. Either way, we just need to cut some wood while we have some time. Too bad we're not fluid, though. Holy crap. That would be fantastic for this run. Here's death mode. Here's death mode. Hang on, hang on. The blue Neo Tantra of darkness, but they also have nature primacy. We should have been more fluid. Well. Some drop beacons there too. Activator. Countdown 2.8 days. Stop throwing up, Sandusky. Major break risk on Sandusky. That's food poisoning. All right, well, need to get more of this done. Uh, what kind of blocks we got going on here? We got some slate or some sandstone, rather. Okay. All right. Why is it so long to the next wave? It was a reward. <laughs> we finally got a delay reward, and it was a long one. Thank goodness we needed it too. We were getting kind of bludgeoned. But even with, Alf is dead. But we might get a reward for like res serums in this one. I don't know. We've had uh, healer mech serums as rewards before. So 
Well, it's possible. How many hours do I have in Rimworld? Uh, over 3,000 is all I know. I played some before it was uh, uh, on the DRM free version back when it was like a Kickstarter type thing. Probably a couple hundred hours there. So I don't know, somewhere over 3,000. Mostly is no pause. Uh, I don't want to do this. I think I'll actually put some traps there and then I'll put a burn tunnel on the back end of it, maybe. Or I can just open the burn tunnel separately when we need. So let's do a double here. Thirty-one hundred on Steam, and then a few hundred before that. So yeah. Quiet kill box, yes. Travelers desire resources. Oh, look. Look at all this human leather. Nice. Pretty close on seam to that same number. Let's go, Diff. Here, I'm bringing you guys some silver, all right? Can we get... We might could actually recruit them within 13 days. We don't have more to trust, though. We don't have proselytizer anymore. No, I'm just not going to worry about it. We got too much to do. Too much to do. Eight days on that. Player went through Vines. Good thing I'm my own boss. Hopefully that's how it always is, because with all the quotes and stuff, I'd be screwed. Jay's still the only cook. Okay. Huh, you're still alive? Yeah. Unlike Alf. Poor Alf. I could use the Soothe Pulsar. People are pretty upset right now. But I'd rather save it for raid times. Burritos. Favorite foods, any ideas? I don't know. I like a lot of food. Tonight, I think I'm making uh, some teriyaki chicken and some sweet chili chicken with rice and vegetables. 
chicken two ways. Chicken flavored two different ways. Spicy sweet chili. Victory dinner tonight. Tomahawk ribeye. Holy cow. I've never had. Victory dinner. What victory? Might have missed it. Major break on mule. Whatever mule. We are really low on food. I took a lot of people. Uh, how long is the mushrooms? 82%. We might have to hunt a little bit. Special month. A great fish time. Gotcha. Congrats. Do the bodies and travelers not yet. Uh let me see if the zone is that far out. No, just barely not. Be awake soon. Okay, we have four hundred fifteen slates. all this other time who knows go 100 waves right now it's just 24 waves or more but yeah the eventual goal would be nice to, to try to hit there but i don't know i don't know if it's very possible i guess it would be with some extremely good luck more food we need more people none of these possible without mods yeah i don't i don't either but we're gonna try we get another extension like this maybe maybe we can get there what research are we trying to get we're trying to get mortars okay Barbecue shredded pork. 
pork costs two dollars more per pound there than chicken. That's interesting. Chicken is the, the cheap meat here. Most inexpensive, unless you're talking about like some, uh, obviously some like organ meats and stuff are cheaper, but. Game lagged for a second. It's a little stutter. Still 12 days. We got so much done already. Human flesh was the cheapest uh, on the rim, perhaps. Can't say I've uh, bought too much IRL. Black organ meat, so you get them sometimes. Bajillion chicken legs for like seven bucks at Costco. Yeah. Turn that into a giant maze. Yeah, breachers is, is going to be a really scary thing in general too, and center drop. But we're just pretending those don't exist for right now. Technically eating a reasonable amount of human flesh. By like chewing your fingers or something. Food budget almost down 140 a month for just yourself. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Technically, yeah. <laughs> your mouth a lot. I think you've actually mentioned that before a long time ago, but it does ring a bell now. So next one's 50% more armor, 43 tribals. Grocery roulette for super discounted food. those between the rooms i do sometimes it's it's kind of a good and a bad habit so if there is a drop pod raid it doesn't matter in this one i just have to remember to close them before the 11 days but if there's a drop pod raid i want as much segmenting as i can in closed off rooms because the drop pod pirates can spread out and then we can fight just like a few per room uh instead of all at once and if a door is open they're just going to flood through or just shoot through the door so it's kind of a good I, a good way to get them divided. I guess I could just open it during this one, and then I would just have to remember to close them all before the uh, the timer's up. And usually there's a raid every day until we got this, but is Hydro Power any good? Hydro Power is very good. Yeah, it's um, you can think of it as kind of like a miniature geothermal. It's just constant power that uh, doesn't need any anything to make it keep working other than uh, obviously repairs if something happens. Yeah, it's mainly um, a habit from drop pod defense. The uh, the doors, I mean. Kind of want to take that wall down. It's scary. It doesn't give as much, but uh, yeah, they're they're really good. Um, there's a couple things to keep in mind with them. Uh, I don't, yeah, can't really show you. Uh, but one thing is, it's nice to build walls around them. Unfortunately, the walls end up having to be wood, unless you're using a mod, so they will get lit on fire sometimes. But you can also do uh, roofing all around it. That way, at least wildfires don't burn them. But is there a limit to the scaling of waves? Twenty-five thousand raid points. Is from what I understand, which is two and a half times more than uh, the base game. Man, 
Man, can't believe we got this reprieve. All right, we just gotta keep an eye on going towards those mechs. Make sure everyone's still in work. So what all popped out? Forsythers, Pikeman, Lancer, Centipede. So we could close this entrance over here when um, the raid spawns and they'll fight, hopefully. Depending on what they are. Oh, Mortar's researched. Play is possible win against Winston Waves? Probably, yeah, if you got a bunch of delays. Like, imagine we, on the next wave, we get another 15. Like, by some miracle, we get another 15 on the next, like, three or four waves. We could absolutely build a ship in that time, you know? Especially no other normal raids happening. Yeah, I think it could technically be possible with good RNG. Alright. We need to get to, uh, flak and stuff like that. I didn't even know there was a 15 delay one, you know? Start growing double strand. Uh, there's probably that. There's no sunlight. <laughs> Still the first round of the day, yep. Just a small problem with that. Putting that there. Steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. All right, let's remove flooring. I always forget that. Who is that? <clears throat> uh, Matt, think of the six months. Time flies when you're rimming. Boy, that's the truth. Thank you, Matt. Six months already. You think of a challenge? Uh, travel start. Start somewhere near the bottom of the planet. You have three years to prepare. Take all your items and columns. Move to an ice sheet or sea ice. Build waste there. Prepare worm, clothes, rabbit wheels, and to make a few side casters. Maybe I have so many things on on um, the docket to do. Like, I don't really like heavy nomadic playthroughs in general. But uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, I'm not super opposed to it. I think I'm going to do the door there. It's always one to kind of think about oh, nomadic types play playthroughs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sniper only challenge. <laughs> All 
such fortuitous skill. Okay, so we actually have a kill box open. Right now we have this burn tunnel still open. Let's go ahead and make sure we have enough wood. I mean, I know we do, but let's just go ahead and put it down now so I don't forget when the time comes. Uh, let's go ahead and get that done there. Skill, luck, you know, whatever. All works for me. Okay, let's get Mule out on the road. Is this one actually reset nine days? Okay. I kind of want to ally these guys. Trying to think of it. It doesn't really matter though, huh? I think it's gonna roll tribal more though. Still, but in this one, it, it can even give tribals doomsdays. It would open up a new trade partner. Either way, we don't have enough to ally them right now anyway, though. Let's see what all we would have. 479 human leather is not enough. Probably to make neutral, we need like 900. Um, yeah, we just, we just don't have enough yet. But we can get closer. This book launcher I want to keep. In peace for sure. Uh, the extra cloth. We'll probably keep that for recreation stuff. Right. Go ahead. Hit the road, mule. Iced coffee is a little stale. Stale iced coffee. Sounds terrible. In many ways. Alright, so we're almost your own flak. Uh, we gotta get plates. Yep. Alright, um, we can extend the barracks down this way and push the base down here. We just need to double that up. We still have a bit of sandstone. Stupid wet spot. Extend it a little bit for now, I guess. God, I wish we'd get that infestation up there. That'd be pretty nice. And we should probably start actually working on flooring to make people move around faster with this playthrough. Um. Hmm. Don't, we have totemic, right? How much wood would it take to do the fine totemic boards? 5,000! Steel might be an option too, yeah. Especially with the... Um, I want them to hurry up and get up here and do this. Especially with the rewards. Yeah, we have this deal. We're mining right now. There's some others that are relatively close. The barracks, I wouldn't want to do it, but we could even do concrete down some other places to, to move quickly. Water joins. Oh, nice. Second, really ugly, pessimist, incapable of violence. Another kidnap target. Also get a social again. So a second mule as well. I won't name them because they're literally here to die. Okay. Fact, let's see. We've got all those people in the work zone. Um, what do we have here? Sandstone chunks. We go ahead and make a stockpile over these sandstone chunks.
Alright, Mule, go get it. With the mechs. You're right, I probably shouldn't have grabbed the ones there, huh? I'll keep an eye on them. This is Mule's fault. How many do we end up getting? Ah, we got a few. Crap. Yeah, we'll do those elsewhere. We got a few, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I actually didn't keep an eye on Mule, the first Mule when they were leaving. I meant to do that too. <laughs> 10 out of 13, yeah. What's too bad? Not even close. to do with a coffee beverage sums up your life prize was life 10 stone chunks so many steel slag I know I should probably um, get the smelter. And the other thing, too, is we get those every time we get a reward, so I might as well just do it. Also, probably need to get biofuel down sometime. All oh, right, Alf was doing our mining. All right, Goose, I guess you're on mining now. sucks. It's like, why aren't we getting any of that steel? Right, Alf died. <laughs> four days, four days. Okay, we're gonna make it to Flak, and then we'll grab auto doors. If you had just used Chunk Skip, it would have been far safer. Just throw some basic doors on here for right now. All right, so let's see how much we can get. Thirty-nine. Not quite enough. Narth on a food binge. Right, Gourmand. Uh, right, the blueprints one is is incorrect. I need to remove that. Keep forgetting. I haven't used that in a couple runs, actually. I used it during the cheese run. It was the last time I did that. It's been a while. It's been quite... Yeah, it is. It's been really crazy. Winston Waves have been really insane. All right, smelt from slag. We'll go ahead and put that as do forever for now and uh, drop on the floor. We're also going to smelt... Apparel. Uh, we're gonna go with. I'll just let them do tainted only for right now. Might change my mind on that because we have one bloodless person. Oh no! Oh wait, wait. This is just a traitor one. Okay. I thought people was getting ambushed. Like no, no, no. I guess it's not a big deal anyway. They already got rid of all the items. Okay. Um. Uh... Also, go ahead and do the destroy apparel now. Do forever. Allow tainted only. 
no utility. Okay. And I will choose the weapon stuff for now. That's alright, we have a backup mule now. Let's go ahead and clear everything aside from bows. Kyla. Um, okay. There we go. We also have the animal pulser. Gotta remember. So. This next raid can't be a drop raid or uh, a siege, at least. 43 pirates with almost 3,000 raid points. It's probably just a frontal normal attack. Sacra Mule. Mule refines it to be Sacra Mule, yeah. Sacra Mule. A plague on Clucky. Uh-oh. Clucky might die. <laughs> They'll get the auto-tinned or whatever. Those are out on a caravan, but... I don't know. If Mule comes in the wrong side of the map, Mule's just dead, so... Our poor horse. Sacre Mule. Cluck. really want a ton of this wood. Fourteen hundred. Sunblocker is going to get rid of pretty much all the wood on the map before uh, we destroy it. Whoops. Ralph? Yeah. Oh. You're right. I meant to put the door there. Thank you. Good catch. All right. Uncle Jay is married. Congratulations. Masterwork bed. This furniture bears an image of a heart. <laughs> that might be the absolute plainest artwork I've ever seen in Room Worlds. Masterwork, literally just a heart. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm fixing it, don't worry. There was a misclick when I was leaving a spot for a door. Okay, smell weapon. Do forever. Uh, bio coded only. There we go. Not a very magic person. Sorry. Sorry. And I got to get this moved as well. Lunch till seven days to raid. Do it all this free time. I made a kill box, a trap tunnel, which I need to uh, finish some other work on. I'm trying to collect a lot of wood right now for a couple reasons. One being there's a sun blocker on the map. Your lover Alf died. Well, you're the moral guide, so your friend Alf died. Those shouldn't stack. Intense pain from being sick was a masterwork it's just the art itself was a little a little lacking 
right. Oh crap. I gotta slow down on that kind of stuff. I could have killed the happy couple there. Uh, sorry about that. They're fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm thinking too. Playing against normal storytellers after this is going to be—it's uh, going to be interesting. Their <laughs> protection—they had their helmets on. <laughs> Sorry, Alf's corpse. I'll get back to you. Don't worry. Uh, so I need to put the slowing things in here. I might just want this part to be a slow tunnel, actually. Time to think of it. Just to buy a bunch of time. Which kind of sucks, because that means I need to rip that side down. But uh, I think it'll, it'll buy us a lot more time doing that. And we'll be better overall. Sunlogger still hasn't activated. I'll do it. Sprit. Turn on to where they were destroyed to. Some more of the fences. Yeah, and I might go ahead and do the... Um, I can actually just do it with a turret now. Come to think of it. I don't even need a an animal. Little scary and ran out of food. Why aren't you forging, mule? Good luck, mule. Let's see where you come in at. So, wallet. It's true, I could do that. Do we have enough? Yeah, I guess I could even just do it with slate. Good job, mule. Says okay, but she's not doing it right the second. Let's go and Czar. Told child as well. <laughs> Can I keep that section as well? Yeah, technically, yeah. Uh, this is not the longest run. We're only on day 40 and wave 19. So not yet, but by the next wave, it will be the longest run.
This is so I can run out here and close the back door uh, if I don't need to use this. So I wanted to make it here. And if I want to, eventually I can make it even longer. But it was mainly to put it near our back door. I put a firebomb in the tunnel? No, I'm not. We already have an oven up here, so I don't need two ovens. ID? No, I'm not. I don't need two ovens to burn people. I have one already. But no, I don't like IEDs. I don't like the fireboxes that like themselves. And the main reason why is because I don't want to burn every raid. Some raids I just don't want to. And I don't want like a mech raid coming in there and lighting them on fire or something. I don't want them um, lit. Or sometimes I will decide just to kill a tribal raid because I need more meat or leather or whatever. And I don't want to have to. Uh, Go in there, like, try to uninstall the ID or something before they go and walk on it. So, Molotov is good with me. Why use a roof over the kill box? Well, there's a couple reasons. One is you... Uh, enemies move slower in darkness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put light on our side because light does not impact accuracy anymore. They remove that, but uh, the roof actually makes enemies move towards us more slowly. So if it's melee enemies like scythers or whatever, they're going to come to us sl more, uh, more slowly, right? Uh, the second reason is it makes it so trees and stuff are not going to grow in there. So don't have to worry about that. And enemies having cover. They're being kind of cover blocking it. And third, we are tunnelers and tunnelers don't like to be outside. So yeah, those are the reasons in this one. We need to get barrels. Barrels. Thanks, Abora. It's a lot of hours. A lot of hours. I still learn stuff. Like all my joints. Sometimes you like genocide. Sometimes you don't. Light no longer affects accuracy. That was removed before even 1.0. Hey, Lord Prime, welcome in. Isn't that crazy how long ago? I was telling people that it impacted it all the way up to like almost 1.2. And then one time someone was like, I don't know, that was removed in like Alpha 18. Did you know that? And I was like, what? Alpha 18? No friggin' way. And then I checked and yes. Uh, Been gone for a while. Okay. There's some other things that we need to do. I kind of want to open this up eventually. So we'll want to double wall that so we can open that. Uh, and I can put a eating area behind it. Right. It only changes if you have the darkness beam yet. Six days. All right. How much wood did we get cut? 2,800. Uh, let's see. I think we actually do have someone that's good at arts. So we'll use some art this time too. Yeah, it's outdoors, I don't care. It's all work for only nine days. Yeah. 
There's still an in-game prompt on the loading screen that says it does. That's interesting. Cyber Darkest Dungeon 2. I've, I've already put in a lot of time on the early access. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for full release. Trying uh, not to burn myself out. I, I streamed it like over 100 hours the first like week and a half early access, access hit. Did a bunch of YouTube content on it. And then I've been taking a break because I don't want to get burned out, you know. Never do clean. What are all these people doing here that won't clean? Almost time. In the Russian version, it still has the tooltip. <laughs> yeah, it, it does not. Uh, it doesn't work that way anymore, no. Okay, um, I guess... Let's go ahead and just throw some zones back here just temporarily and how's the research going on the flak it's getting there it's getting there what a mess uh Uh, if you test it and see that it's working so either way, let me know, but that's, uh, I haven't tested it since 1.2 and it seems like, uh, they wouldn't have added it to the darkness precept and meme if it was the case, you know? I kind of want to destroy that. Yeah, if, if it is wrong, let me know, and then I can uh, tell people the correct stuff. Crap. Right. Around skaters, yeah, I don't know that I'll have time. How much wood do we have out here now? We need like 5,000 or something. <laughs> Why? What, what's wrong with it? I live in a super safe neighborhood. My daughter gets to go to a tin rated school. That's why we moved here. Everyone around is friendly. So. We, well, uh, yeah, we, we chose this. We, for the first five years, before my daughter started school, four years, whatever. We moved around the country. We lived in different places for a while and see which one would be best for our daughter. And we settled, bought a house where it would be best for our daughter. Everywhere has their crappy places. But at least the one we're at here isn't. So I don't know. Can you use the caravan trick to grab all the wood? Probably, I was using that for chunks earlier. Just have to be a little bit careful with it. I guess none of it's near the mech, so it should be all right. I gotta make sure I delete it afterwards, so. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and set one up here and see how much of it we can get. Get 976. It's pretty good in a single trip. That's what I was worried about. I should have set this for a uh, low only wood or something. Go, me'll go. You're saving your house too. I don't know why the boss still showing the story thing. Someone went berserk, got their head shut off because you forgot to turn off kibble.
Uh, alright. Transport caravan. Dump that. Dump all that. So that did help a little bit. I mean, we brought in 900. That little trick. So we might want to just get started on it. And then we won't have to worry about uh, regrowing these daylilies either. Is that... It'll help with mood too. The impressive barracks. I mean, the bar barracks is already back to him. Very impressive. But we could get the plus one higher than that. Uh, let's see. What else do I need to do here? Put mushrooms down here, and then we can use this, like I said, we can pop this open. I need to double this up. Flak, we can make, can make our own flak armor. Okay. I also need to... So after this next raid, I have to go get barrels. I have to. Auto door. Thing where they pick up slightly more than the stack at once. Oh, no, yeah, the one I just used where they can... Where Mule carried 900 pieces of wood on their own. Hmm. Our sapper thing is not set up correctly anymore. Anyway, we have too many things to worry about to do that, so let me go ahead and double these. And that one we can't. So I might have to put another door up there to be safer with this. Combat supplier. Hmm. Mast work billiards table. Look at that. Are you guys going to screw the mechs up for us? Ooh, that's got to be super close. Yep. Mule, go see what they got going on. Oh, uh, let's see. I kind of want to smelt that stuff. We have 1882. We could get a recon helm. Get a cataphract helm. Can we sell enough to get more than that? Not so sure. Definitely don't want to sell those two. Oh, we're so close. Nice. Uh, okay. Sandusky. Goose. Roofed over the area it's hitched in. I think I might just put the uh, the hitch in here and just let it eat mushrooms. We only have the one animal. I was thinking about that earlier. There. All right. Start uh, wherever the flowers are not. We don't have any more money. Components would be nice, but the helmets, I think, will be better overall. This. I just realized most of our guns are chain shotguns still, huh? Who's our best crafter? Noob is our best crafter. Is that basically all they're doing? All right, Noob, you are going to become a uh, 
specialist as well. And Bill, we're probably gonna do. Yeah, let's knock that one out. It's almost done anyway. Probably gonna do assault rifles with our uh, with our setup here. SMGs would be okay too, but you need to think about kiting as well. I think the raid after this, uh, if we don't get a delay, we're probably gonna need to kite it for a while. Another mech cluster? Friggin' autumn order. Initiates in 1.4 days. All right, mules. Which one you can build? Mule number one. Okay. That'll eventually burn too, so I also need to do this. Good luck, mule. Can roof it? That's yeah, that's what I'm trying. Smoke launcher help. Um no, if they wake up, I don't. I'm not gonna want to fight them out there, no matter what. Depends. So. You can see that we cheese it sometimes by laying down sleeping spots around it, but not every single spot will do it. So I have no idea if this is one of those spots or not. Mule dies, mule dies, I guess. They didn't get it done in time. Mule, 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 do it! Mule! No, it was so close, mule, so close. Wow. Wow. Super close. I'm not even sure if that's uh, roofed enough or not. Well. Not our cowboy hat. Oh, uh, the real bad thing about it is uh, we're going to get to the left unburied debuff. I wasn't even thinking about that when I did it. Hopefully these guys leave that way. I think that's enough to block it, but I really wanted to get that done because these walls burn. The real downside now is we can't really come out down here. Yeah, if, if this steel catches on fire ever, the roof collapses and this can attack. Uh, the roof collapses like 20 damage, so it's not going to be enough. 20 damage is like unarmored. Something early, no. We got some other stuff and research we can do in the meantime.
So now we got a mech cluster up here and down here. Oh, man. Mule number one is dead. Why does steel burn? Don't know. Steel on, steel on the ground doesn't burn, but steel as a structure does. So you must mix something with it where it becomes flammable. to assault rifles but it's gonna take advance so I might just do SMGs for now we did do 18 tiles right 19 okay so it's not gonna be great accuracy uh, plasteel used to be able to burn too and they changed that one steel gasoline alloy yeah <laughs> I don't think we can with just one person doing it it's gonna take a quite a long time you know what I maybe should do is I should probably knock out a bunch of these little researches because there's a reward where it researches the next things, right? We got that earlier. So if I knock out the ones that don't take a lot of time, and then we get one of those that researches like five random ones that you are, are next on the tree, um, we might get lucky with it. So let's just knock some of these out. I still i am going to need advanced researching either way. So I still will uh, throw it down here. How are we doing on power with that, too? I gotta check that out. Yeah, if we can just bang those out with a ton of people researching, and we get that reward, we'll be in good shape. Okay. Rosalind's problem. 55-year-old calling your body to make me join. There's some kind of threat following her. Unwilling to say what? Okay. This sometimes, oddly, these unable to say what can be infestations. If this ends up being an infestation um, or like a huge manhunter pack, we'll be in great shape. It's a two-star. However, if it's a massive raid event... Like, mechs, we basically lose. If there's a crap load of mechs following her, we pretty much lose. Any normal raids, we can just burn them. Infestation is great for us. Animals are great for us. So that's a what? It's like one out of five things just kill us. So that's only like one in five chances of something going terribly wrong. I got EMP. It's a two-star quest. If it ends up being max, we can call early. Yeah. I think I might go for it. If it ends the run, I'm gonna feel pretty bad. But earlier, I lost five coin flips. That's true. Five coin flips in a row. So I'm due to win one, right? The gambler's fallacy. I'm out of tea. It's time to make a bad decision. Make chat choose. All right, let's do it. You're statistically protected from losing this gamble since you lost a lot earlier. <laughs> Yeah, pain's out. All right, let's do it. 
things might get really crazy here. Do you really want to live forever? Oh, man. I got a bad feeling about this. Well, there's no Red Mountain or base, is there? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I was never even worried about it. All right, Roslyn. Super immune, too smart, 55. Put you as mule three temporarily with that social until we figure out what's going on. Oh my god, I would. I'm just dreading seeing whatever comes behind her. Please be an infestation right here. Supreme Super Islam. <laughs> She's not even our, our ideology. We have to convert her. She has a scar to right here. Supreme Super Islam. 84 breaching backs and we're dead if that's the case. What if, what if Winston Waves also blocks quest raids? He actually blocks normal raids, not normal events, but he blocks normal raids and he blocks ship raids. What if this was a normal raid and just blocked it? That actually might be the case. Or something really bad's about to happen, you know. One, one of those two things. But nothing's happening yet. Only way to find out. Yeah, I'm just waiting. How long on the quest did it say? It doesn't give us a timer. It just says there's something following her. <laughs> it still shows active as well, though. I'm so worried right now. I'm just ready to cancel this. If something happens. Similar to Igor, did proc ship launch that you traveled to with one pawn? Kind of, yeah. Kind of. Did ship and start the reactor and not have to defend it? Uh... Against anything other than waves, yet. Yeah. You can. Usually, they're following them pretty quickly. In most cases, the raid and or animals or whatever show up literally before I get back to the base with them, but not always. Effective conversion. Come on, Mule. Was it, uh, Uncle Jay? Okay. And I really want to put the rest of the wood down, but it's outside the walls. Let's go and pep. I'm thinking it's blocked, yeah. But, uh, 
We'll wait and see. Shall wait and see. It's game magic. That's right. It is. It's just a balancing thing that Tiny did for some weird reason. Or Ludian, whoever you want to put it the cause of it. Inspired Taming on Narth. It does remind me, though. Yeah, I, I don't see, I don't hear anything happening. <laughs> like, it might be all right. See? Always blame Tynan, yes. Turns weirdly placed to affect smart raids uh, and sappers, yeah. Yeah, they're not actually in a great spot anymore for sappers, but that's initially why they're in these weird places, yeah. No, I thought it was covered. Oh, we're gonna have someone early. Christ. Here we go. Good luck to us. I was so confused for a second. Oh, the mortar's firing at them. jerk. Take him out, tribals. Take him out. Sound early because there's a freaking auto mortar shooting into our base. I didn't get roofed enough. I should have done the other roofs before I tried the wall. I was just hoping I'd get the wall up. These tribes are screwed too. They're not going to get it. Even their 50% armor. Meteorite impact. Psychic soothe. Crappy rewards. What's next? 58 tribals. There's 
two mech clusters on that. We should get a really good reward for it. I have the tornado. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to summon one more early and see if we get a really good reward anyway. Alright, Sappers is not what I wanted to see. This one's going to run into that mech group, but we might actually have to fight this one. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can aim the meteorite. I don't know with the storyteller, though. Not Mule 2's wife. I'm worried about this one. We do have a smoke launcher if the actual mechs themselves get cleared. Oh no, the meteors are, might end up taking out part of our base. Well, this could be bad. Wait, we can use this? Unload! Unload! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Repair! Repair! Chasm repair! Someone! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wow! Can't do it on the next group, though. And the mortar's still shooting. Meteors are falling. <laughs> They are going to let the mechs come into the base. Um, Mule will go grab the MP. All right, you can't because you're incapable of violence. Because you're a loser. Look how much of the friggin' base is getting hit by meteors and mortars. That's not enough. Oh my god, I kept hitting this stupid thing. Right, it's almost put out by now. Screw it. What a mess. And what's next? No retreat. We have to take out the mortar. Uh, let's see. Should have got our own mortars faster, I guess. Still have the Sooth Pulsar? Did it get destroyed? Just use it. 
Can't use the animal pulse right now or else we're uh, we're gonna get floored by them. If that turret hits him, he's screwed. have to go for it. The Cinnabine's gonna get to him first. Oh no. I could try to cause a chain reaction. I think that's our only shot here because Cinnabine's gonna kill him. How, what's this, this is at 79%. Can he build the roof in time? I don't think so. He didn't get it. We're just going to have to try to fight it, but I mean, everyone is so injured. I don't really care about Mule. Like, fighting multiple centipedes out in the open with what we have is just not going to work, but who has the targeter? All right, Goose, last, last attempt here. Freaking centipede is coming up this side. Why? Why are you guys coming up this side? Let's open this. Should have rushed to the mortars. I wasn't even thinking. I was so um, so preparing for like the normal waves. I didn't even think about mech clusters because mech clusters can't be a wave. So oh my god, this stupid centipede is coming back again. All right, Goose. Good luck. I don't know why. I thought it was the other one. I thought I was the one that caused down explosions. I just caused down fire. I should use the tornado, I suppose. <laughs> Let's see how many mistakes we can make in a row to lose the best run. <laughs> uh, feels bad. Feels bad. I think that's it mm -hmm. for science. Yeah, I think that's it. Like even if we survive this one, what is next? Well, at this stage, no, it's probably not a good idea. Content targeting beam. Did they even destroy that? No, we just can't kill these out in the open with all you have. All right, screw it. Go to sleep. Try Mountain Beast next time. Yeah, I think so. Man, it was going so well. I just wasn't even, just wasn't even thinking about uh, mech clusters at all. Ugh. Man, oh man. No, I wasn't even getting lazy. We got a lot done. Like this is a fantastic base against everything other than the auto mortar. If I just had Mule build the rest of the. Um, 
Uh, if I had Mule build the rest of the roof before I tried to get the wall to protect from the burning, we would have been fine too. When we're ending, uh, here in just a minute. <laughs> Be sarcastic, gotcha. It was the best run as far as the base setup, yeah. We didn't make it as far in, as in waves, but we had the best opportunity. I screwed it up. Yeah, it really sucks. We didn't even get we didn't even get to use the kill box. Man. The only way we could even think to rebuild is if the tribals barely win and the next reward is another like 15 day. Go rush the mortar now. <laughs> With all like three mini turrets and a and a flame turret. But yeah, I think I think it's done. Man. Well, I think we also didn't get a lot of good rewards in the beginning, so I think this strategy is definitely the one. Well, I mean the starting strategy. I've lived for like an hour. Yeah, yeah we are screwed. I think I'm gonna do one more open and then I'm gonna try mountain. At least the whole base is on fire. Oh yeah, no wait. <laughs> I wonder if certain types are weighted or if it's completely random. I don't know. Some runs we get so lucky with the rewards and sometimes not at all. So. Yeah, we only got one good RNG this one, and that was that 15 day window. The rest of them were kind of kind of bad. Or caravan, no, that would just um That cheeses it. Um if you caravan some more the waves start over, I'm not gonna do that. Last longer than this than you do on regular mode. <laughs> oh, they did. They're, uh, they're burning to death. Well, we're about to as well. The tribals are dead. <laughs> the centipede lit the burn, uh, tunnel on fire. Is there a reward to kill everything on the map other than us? So early it should tell you what percent. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Resource drop, fuel drop, normal weapons, uranium. It doesn't matter at this stage. The next one is nine centipedes. Yeah, well, the centipedes won't fight themselves. All right, our last act. Do we have... We have the tornado generator. Who has it? Haven't used one of these in a long time. What do you know? Oh, it's going the way I didn't want it to. But the, the mortar's down. We could have just used that. All right. Well, GG. GG. Man, I haven't seen one of those in forever on here. Christ is a belief. <laughs> Man, if I had just taken out that friggin' mortar, we're in such good shape. So, if we have another start like this, but we have better RNG with the rewards, I think we'll be in really great shape. The tornado is clearing the map, though. Clearing the map. Man, I really screwed up. So it goes. <laughs> Mortar's gone now. <laughs> so is everything. All right, let me end that recording. But we will continue this. It'll continue tomorrow. I learned a lot. But uh, I really screwed up. We also got really unlucky with the um, with the ritual RNG. We got one join out of six rituals. 
Actually, I think we did 12. We did like 15 rituals. I think we got three joins from it. Pretty unlucky. But anyway, I really screwed up at the end of the mortar. I should have just had Mule finish that roof first, but you know, live and learn. It's a good run. It lasted a whole stream. Uh, I think we had 